Guys, go to GokuMerch.com and buy everything right now. <laughs> Make sure you guys steal your mom's credit Bro. card and buy all the merch. Oh, shit. Please okay, get yes. your mom into credit card debt so Goku can pay his bills. No, I'm playing. Don't steal your mom's credit card. No, no, no. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> go buy the merch, man. Go support our boy. But yeah, what's up, bro? Uh, not much, bro. I, uh, I've been stimming this whole week, bro. I, uh... I've been sleeping at like the most horrendous times you could you could probably imagine, like falling asleep at like 11 in the morning. I used to do yeah. that. I used to pull all nighters like back in like three years ago. That shit was crazy. yeah. Okay, wait up. You got to tell me what's your highest adrenaline YouTube moment or like YouTube content moment, whether it was like a video popping off or like the actual recording of a video. Like what what made you feel something in your Jimmy's like something I felt in my balls like deep down in the in the sack yeah yeah like well it doesn't need to be your balls but like <laughs> what made you feel alive like what was the most alive you felt doing YouTube um I have two actually I have okay. two the first one this one's gonna be obvious that make off video with two million views that one yeah. definitely especially when it was popping off I think that's what yeah. like that was when I like really felt some I'll explain that video too. I heard you had like you had a question about it. I'll explain it because it's actually a crazy backstory. But uh, I, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, I definitely crazy ass that. backstory. But yeah, so that one, and then I did this other video. No one's probably heard of it, but I did this mm -hmm. video. Uh, it was talking about. So I don't know if you've heard of the game Unturned Free to Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I used to play that because it was free. Yeah, that. That was like my whole channel before the Minecraft stuff. And I did this crazy. Fascinating. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i an unturned dude, bro. I came from unturned. That's like the rarest I think I yeah. can think of on YouTube. Niche is because it's like niche shit. Yeah, it, you can't, you probably can't really pop off as an unturned YouTuber. People have, but it's like really rare. And they usually, when they pop off, they get to like our size now. It's like, yeah. you don't blow up. But I made this video about this unturned game mode. Basically, the guy that made it, I won't get too into deep t detail, but it was called Unturned Blackout. The The guy that made the, yeah. the mod, he didn't pay his developer properly, and it was this whole scandal. And I made this, like, crazy-ass video about it where I, like, the editing was insane for an unturned video, and it actually, like, blew up in terms of, like, views for that game. Exposing a pay-to-win unturned server or no? No, it was um the fall of unturned blackout. That's the name of the, f the video. Okay. That's some old ass that most of the new people like don't know, but that was crazy. The intro for it is wild. It's copyrighted okay. though, so don't get don't get claimed on your stream. But it's it, that it was that was copyrighted. Bro, this is what I was gonna ask, man. Like, are you a masochist? Me? Like, if for what in terms of editing? Yeah, but specifically, like, um, because even the um, pay-to-win LGBTQ server, like, that got copyright claimed, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, so, so you are a masochist, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Like, sometimes I'll just put the atmosphere in front of the ad revenue, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Oh, sh Okay why though like just is that the reason just for like committing to the the uh vibe of the video yeah that and like i don't i just, i never did it for the money i never did youtube for the money i did it for like the, yeah. i did it for the culture the swag. I'm, I'm one of those like uh i'm one of those broadcast yourself people like i don't know if there's any yeah. of those people left but Back in the day, YouTube was like, you broadcast yourself, you make something because you think it's cool, not because it would get money or views. That's kind of my mindset when I do anything. Yeah, yes. See, okay, I, I am, imagine that was probably the reason. Either that or you like getting kicked in the balls, but like, I I am very similar, and I like I come from a similar route, more or less, because even up to, uh, like, I think two of my last ten videos got copyright claimed, like, right away, and I just said F it i like the music um yeah really stupid though <laughs> yeah it really is dumb no the last yeah. like i swear my last eight videos or something are all copyright claimed 
Yeah, yeah. See, that's like you earn the swag badge, but then eventually you just earn the like nut kicking badge. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I'm broke. Like that thirty minute, <laughs> two million view video would have made like so much money, but I'm I'm, oh. I'm contempt. I'm contempt. Completely contempt. Contempt. Hell yeah, in court. Contempt in court, bro. I think. Uh, I think like realistically though, it was an investment in your channel in a way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, I, that sh blew up and like I gained. 40,000 just from that video alone. That's awesome. Yeah. Damn. That's awesome. Yeah. I, uh, bro, and I, I'll tell you, the algorithm loved that too. Like, uh, that was in my feed for a good while. Like, good thumbnail too. Like, why'd you pick that thumbnail? Like, was so, it just because of the music? So, the, I'm going to explain the lore behind that video. You're not going to, you're not going to believe me when I say this. So, yeah. I made a video before. A very similar video to that one it was um it was an unturned video this was like back in the unturned days it was the server it was like it was i think i called the video unturns war server i really liked that video that video that server in that video i should say it had it was a f it was a an a pay to win lgbtq unturned server i didn't really bring up the lgbtq part in the video but it that was like a part of it. I didn't really bring that up though, like mainly just because like I thought it'd be kind of controversial, low key. Yeah, but. yeah. So that was a video I made a, a, like a while ago. I had a dream one night. This is how you know I'm f***ed up. I had a dream yeah. one night. This dream I had, it was that video, but it was Minecraft, same kind of thing, and. It was playing Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd, that album, just in the background of the video. And the mm -hmm. then at the end of the dream, that thumbnail, I f see it in my dream. Like I see like a like something that looks like that. Like that's as close as I could get it. That I f dreamt that I wake up. I'm like I'm drenched in sweat. This is like the weirdest dream I ever had. I'm like I gotta do this video, but I don't f know how I'm gonna do it. But then it all yeah. fell. It all fell into place. Because then my boy Duper Trooper, Duper Trooper, he's behind every single Minecraft duping video on YouTube for the last five years. I'm not even joking. All of the like yeah. major ones you can look at, he's been behind it or helped in some way. Even if he's not in the video, he like probably gave them the dupe or like found it or had someone yeah. find it and he gave it out. That's he, the dude in, uh, like I, I watched uh, you guys Astro Duping. That's the dude? Yeah, that dude. Okay, sweet. He's behind all of them. He found a dupe. And the dupe worked on the server called Fruity SMP. I already knew about okay. the server. I played it before. And that was like the the server I kind of like envisioned in the dream was that server because I already played it. I just yeah. dreamt that video. I'm like, dude, I should. And I had this idea of doing an album themed video for a long time. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. My channel's kind of like falling off right now. Let's just try it. <laughs> Let's YOLO. just let's just see if this is cool. Like I just kind of did it because I thought it'd be cool. I didn't really want. I didn't think it'd blow up. That shit blew the fuck up. The title. I came up with the title last. I was like, "What is this video? What do we do in this video?" I put LGBTQ in exclamation marks or whatever. Or yeah, yeah, like uh, air quotes. It wasn't in air quotes in the beginning, so it was getting posted all over Twitter. <laughs> I see. Because it's like you're committing a hate crime. That's what people thought. But then yeah. everyone in the re replies of all these tweets were all just gay people, like, all the <laughs> defending me. They're like, yo, no, that video is lit, and he did a good thing. And then people would watch it, and they'd see the disclaimer and realize, oh, it's it's kind of a bait and switch. It's not actually a hate yeah. video. It's actually supportive. So that's the lore. That's what I was amazed by because I, I, the same impression for me, I was like, how is this in my algorithm? I was like, this is crazy. This is actually just like a, a dude potentially on LGBTQ. I click it and I'm like, oh no, okay. Immediately, it's like pretty clear. You know, you you, you do a good job of laying out like this is just like, it's a, a farce. You know what I mean? Like uh, you're doing, if anything, kind of uh, like it's a totally, like you're totally tr trolling the out of them, but it's a... Uh, with good intentions, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, um, my biggest inspiration, probably, I would say, like, my biggest one, no one knows this guy, but his name is Chief Grief, he was this unturned YouTuber, he was just a troll, he would go on roleplay servers and just troll the f out of them, get admin, kill everybody, just do a bunch of f it was hilarious, though, like, everyone loved it. Yeah. 
I yep. that's what I was doing for a long time. And then like me and my friend Doug, we were like, man, we should do this, but we should be like benevolent trolls. So we should only troll yeah. asshole people or people that do <laughs> some or like are just chaotic like, good. Chaotic good. I like that. I like that that energy. Yeah, that's it's chaotic good. That's just what I've done since. That's just kind of like become what I do. Fuck yeah, bro. You're like the Minecraft vigilante, dude. I ch I I guess so. I I kind of yeah. I would say so a little bit. That's kind of kind of that's kind of <laughs> the vibe. You know what's actually funny? I've been watching you for so long. You're actually like genuinely. You're like a actual inspiration of mine from like so many years ago, which is pretty crazy to say. Thank you, now, bro. Now we in the, now we in the call on Discord.gg. Yeah, yeah. You're we're in each other's stream. You're streaming right now? Yeah. Eh? I was streaming like just now, and then the last like ten minutes of the stream, I was just edging my chat. Like we're gonna go on another server, and then I just linked your stream. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go on this guy's stream right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate you rating me. God bless. You've been um, edged. I just edged my chat. I'm sorry if any of them are still here. <laughs> I'm sorry I did that. That's like your uh, like your crime note that you leave at the end of every video. It's like you've been edged. Get edged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna make like all your chat relapse on NoFab. They're getting I relapsed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait up. You say you've been watching me for a while. We're talking uh, H3H3 video or are we talking like Monkey Jones video? Okay, so yes, H3 video, but I had a revelation like a, like a year after I watched you. The H3 okay. video. The Minecraft World Tour video. Oh my I god. I watched that no when way. it came out. No I swear way. to god, I can't prove it. <laughs> but I went on your channel, I was binging your <laughs> right? And then I saw no. that video and I was like this looks familiar and I clicked and I was oh like holy I watched this like 8 7 years ago. Some old ash. So I actually watched you before the H3 video, but I actually subscribed and like came like so that was the first video i watched but i just oh watched it like one night and then that was it i didn't go back or anything it was just kind of like a one off comes full circle bro Holy then fuck. i found you because that h3 drama at that time i was watching videos on it and i looked it up and i saw that thumbnail of you shooting ethan klein i'm like this is gonna be good i immediately knew that it was gonna <laughs> actually be like some quality content not some commentary community slop that we get we, yeah that is the standard that is what most of it is yeah uh yeah but i okay. watched that's so i've been like a consistent viewer since then but i actually the first video i watched was the world tour video which i think is hilarious <laughs> that's awesome so your video the h3 video it got taken down you know yeah. keem star re-uploaded it what's the what's the lore oh my god that's a Good question. Oh man, this is like a this is like something that I I usually would not want to even answer, but I've already I've already spilled the f beans. I already uh, completely incriminated myself. Um, so Chad, you just gotta just wipe this from your memory. But basically, the lore of that is pretty simple. Uh man, before okay, so before um that happened, what was going on was. I was just working on Hong Kong videos, which is funny, but like I was working on these Hong Kong videos. I was uh, barely sleeping. I remember the first, the, the first part of the Hong Kong barely series. Sleeping. No, it's true though. The first part of the Hong Kong series I finished in one week, mm -hmm. but I basically I basically slept like uh, a collective fourteen hours that week. Um, so I already burnt the f out of myself. That for some reason, th like those weeks while I was working on that, H three and Keemstar were like going at each other yeah it was and content so, nuke he dropped yeah, like three videos on keemstar it was content nuke season okay and so a lot and they of were weird mid they were mid as f by the way those videos were kind of mid. yeah oh yeah bro yeah there's a couple i remember because obviously uh, i ended up getting involved so like i remember there's a couple of things that like keemstar h3 got like factually wrong or whatever um they, i would agree that they're kind of mid but it was still H3 content, so like, you know what I mean? Like his main channel content, so it was interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the basic situation was like, in my brain, I was like, well, f 
this I don't care like I'm on to Hong Kong or whatever um, but then what ended up happening was it got to the point where um, effectively you know Keemstar was being told by other people um, this guy made you know the H3H3 video this is the video that H3H3 is scared of all this yeah shit. and and um, Keemstar at this time was basically like like we were uh, in a group chat or some shit like that on Twitter. I don't I don't use Twitter anymore really, but like back then, a lot of commentators really used Twitter a lot for like talking. Yeah. Um, and effectively, Keemstar started kind of asking me questions about the the video, like you know, like just general questions, whatever. But I'm pretty sure this is kind of what he was leading to the whole time, more or less. But it was like it ended up with him, um, basically, uh, asking more or less like, would you want to uploaded on my channel like it kind of started as maybe it was as if i would like feed keemstar points for a response i think if that yeah. makes sense which uh at that time i didn't want to do it all because i was just like this is just too much like involvement pretty much like yeah you know what i mean like that'd be that'd be just a pain in the ass you know what i mean uh and i think keemstar also just didn't want to make a video about this like really because he it would it, in that context it would have been hard to pull off i think um because he was getting a lot of bro like those content nukes got collectively like like at least 10 million views something like that um, yeah like 15 something yeah right? it's, which is which is pretty crazy That's like a that lot is of views for sure yeah bro yeah especially bro when you compare it to what i'm doing like sneeko has it easy compared to what the f that was you know what i mean um but anyway I mean, I, I <laughs> whatever, long story short, it basically got to the point where he was like, okay, can I like re upload your video? And at that point, I was like, oh, okay. So let me weigh the options here. And I remember very specifically, I was just like, man, this is like in, in one of those video games where it's like a telltale game where you have like choice. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, I, was like I was like, I was like, holy, f like, like, do I, do I side with Keemstar? Do I? support whatever keemstar the answer is yes i did but um the reason i i basically realized in my head i was like this is just the logical decision in every way for clout for views for promoting the hong kong series which was a cope that i had at that time like i just in my head i was thinking like oh this would just bring attention to the hong kong series which it did but obviously i up and not finishing the series but um Basically, it ended up being the case. I realized, like, there was a couple errors with the original uh, video. There was, like, things that were just, like, objectively wrong. There's a yeah. lot of cringe. There's a lot of cringe, too, because, like, it was the f that was the first... That was the first criticism video I ever made, okay? And it popped off. So that it was, like, a very rare, weird video um, in that way, where it was, like, literally noob's first try, and he pulled... Like, he got... 1.5 million views or whatever um so basically i had to go and re-edit a couple things to correct put corrections and this led to the plunger the plunge of h3h3 have you seen the plunge of h3h3 i know you at the end of the video where it's like you and shoe nice's son you guys had guns you guys replaced it with plungers i remember that is that what you're Bro, talking about yeah yeah so this is also on internet archive Oh my god, it was uploaded by Keemstar? No, it was by Keemstar. So this is what's amazing, bro. This is actually... I'm glad you're asking about this, because I kind of forgot how weird this scenario was. <laughs> oh, f So Keemstar is basically telling me, because obviously the, the original video also got removed. So there was errors, and it ended up getting removed. So Keemstar is telling me, like, you have to, like, make it so that it won't get removed. And in my head, I'm, like, the dumbest guy... I'm very hard-headed, stubborn, whatever. And so in my head, I'm like, I just don't want this video to get uploaded again without the skits and whatever. You know what I mean? So to yeah. cope to cope and to make the skits, like, you know, acceptable or whatever, um, I basically just replaced all the guns with plungers. And I'm going to show you a little bit of this because it's hilarious how bad it is. Like, the idea that this would have worked, it's just hilarious how like delusional i was and yeah i mean so basically i made a new copy i made a new copy for uh keemstar to upload which the keemstar was keemstar uh, version 
the Keemstar, the plunge of H3H3. Okay, the original title is The Death of H3H3. This is the plunge. Oh, God. Uh, and, th bro, th keep in mind, this got a million views within three hours, I believe. And That's then it got insane. And then it got taken down. That's... That's... Your like, video was... Dude, Keemstar doing that was way better than any response you could have made, and it was oh. way better than any than all of the videos that H3 made, in my opinion. It's It was hilarious. Like, that's the biggest thing for me. So, like, there's... Okay, there's the cope of, like, I want to promote the Hong Kong series. This is the perfect opportunity. Like, get all these people to watch it. Yeah. Uh, there's, the co there's the cope of... Um, I want to pop off, obviously. Like, I want views. I want whatever. I guess money, kind of, but I wasn't really making money then. Um, and then there was... Uh, uh, basically me thinking like this is just hilarious like this is just joker mode you know what I mean um, it is it really is like imagine just re-uploading an hour and a half video on him in retaliation um, so let me find the plunge moments see this video is just crazy like I'm just doing cocaine okay let's watch <laughs> Wait up, where's the gun? Let me find it, let me find it. Oh, you, you actually, I forgot about that. You actually put plunge. Yeah, yeah, like I was you trying. You re the video. Yeah, you'll see, it's hilarious, man. It's <laughs> So I think that was the first sensor, and then the next is when we buy the f gun. Watch, watch this, like, watch how, like, I, I just love the naivety that like we were gonna get away with this. Like this is gonna work. Oh my god. I've got, I, I, I've got this. Like I, it, it works. It was pretty but crazy. It, it tastes better than what it's used for. Holy. F this is nice. I like this. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. How much? It's 500. It's a plunger. Did you do three? I'll do three, but like, you got my stuff? Yeah. Boneless or deep fried? What are you feeling? Oh, definitely boneless. I've had a hard week. <laughs> Alright, 300 bone. Holy sh Okay, and then if we go to the end, holy sh I can't believe this. this is so stupid. Here, <clears throat> this might, I don't know if this will trigger anything, but. Okay, let's just go windowed mode. Be careful, bro. Don't get f taken. Okay, down but again. but all right. Let's just show screenshots. Like, look at this. Like, like, th is this convincingly a f plunger at all? Not really. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, uh, I mean, this shot maybe. No, not really. No, this is really stupid. This was f insane. Low this key. Yeah, you should have just you should have just cut the skits. It would have ruined yeah. the f the vibe, but it would have still you would have still had the points. And all so that. you know when you said like, uh, you use copyrighted music because you like see it in a dream and like basically it's about you know broadcast yourself all that. Yes, sir. So this is like the perfect example of me having that uh that like masochism or whatever like me liking getting my balls pun uh kicked and like that. You just wanted to have a like a this was your artistic yeah representation of this. Yeah, I feel I I understand it. Yeah, yeah. But here we go. This is Bro, did you hear that? Here, let me. It's delayed on this. Oh wait, the f poop. Yeah, the poop. <laughs> Bro, did you hear that? The f it's poop. such a joke. It's such a joke. Holy f man. It's still better than H3's video, if you ask me. Oh my god. Oh man. Thank Maybe you. Maybe I'm Thank just you. coping, but I genuinely think there was more soul. And probably 10 minutes of that video than the entire, what, three hours worth of H3's 
video on Keemstar, and I don't even like. I wasn't even really a big fan of Keemstar, but when I saw he re-uploaded your video, I subscribed to Drama Alert. Bro, okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, uh, the okay, so I'll we're gonna listen to that. We're gonna listen to that one more time just because it's so funny. It's so stupid and funny that I replaced the gunshot with a plunger like poop suction. It's so stupid and funny. It's peak. That, and it's so badly, badly censored. You really just put the minimum minimal censoring you could, and then the end is just. <laughs> it's just. It's just that. It's just mental insanity. Holy. <laughs> um. <clears throat> but you want to hear the poetic part, bro? Like the part that in my mind just makes it so hilarious, so Joker mode. And don't tell Keemstar I said this because like. I did feel bad because I don't like censorship. I don't like people over whatever. Yeah. But I ended up doing more damage to Keemstar's channel than H3H3 ever did by <laughs> censoring it so <laughs> Because that video got removed, Keemstar got a strike, and he got his monetization revoked. Like, they, YouTube literally was like, you, you cannot monetize. And so, like, Keemstar today only uploads drama alerts on Snapchat, okay? He He's still doesn't have ads? He actually no, still does not have ads to this day. I no no, he got his ads back like 5 or 6 months later, but like for oh. five, like he got f for a while, okay, a because time. of this. Yeah, and uh he got ads back, but like his YouTube game has never really like been the same if that makes sense. Um he he got like a juicy ass deal with Snapchat, I'm sure. Like the guys like he's doing completely fine, but He's good now. Yeah. It's sure. fun it is funny to think that like inadvertently I did just like an immense amount more damage to Keemstar than H3H3. Um, that's, that's, dude, no one man should have all that power. Yeah, yeah. It, I can prom, I promise you it was unintentional, unawareness. It was like idiocy more than it was like, you know, conniving. Um, but yeah, that was a f***ing dude. And so now we're, we're talking about like so i was working on the hong kong series i'm working on episode two and then this br drama breaks out and i'm like holy shit. and at the same time exact same time covid lockdowns are starting and yeah. so like i'm suddenly i'm just like i'm not going to school i'm not like socializing everyone's freaking out all this shit. and then i have this drama going all this shit. keemstar upload re-uploads the h3h3 video all this shit. i uh my brain's just stimming more than it has ever stimmed in its life. And then H3H3 reacts to the entire uh, Gokunaru, you know, Death of H3H3 finally. video. Yeah, finally. The problem was, was that my brain was, it, genuinely my brain was in Hong Kong mode. And I was just like, holy, I'm really, I'm back in this. Like, and I deserved it. I deserved it for like, uh, conspiring with Keemstar or whatever, like uh, uploading it through Keemstar, obviously. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it did was more good than harm, though. Honestly, yeah, no, I don't, I don't regret it. I don't even view it as moral or immoral or whatever the. F it was just a decision, you know what I mean? But like, one of the consequences of that decision was H three did react to it, which I was glad about. I was glad because it gave really good closure, and like you've probably seen f my response to his viewing. Yeah, I I saw that. That that really like that was the first. That was the first video since the Minecraft World Tour, okay, that really made me money, okay? I made, like, I think I made, like, $1,500, maybe two grand off of that. Um, and it got, like, a million views within, like, a week or something. Um, not a, Sorry, not a million, my bad. It got, like, 700K within a week, which was just insane for me. I was, like, a small-ass channel, relatively. I was, like, 80K. Um, and so... Yeah, but bro, let me let me tell you, like that it, the two weeks that I spent making that like response to H3H3, H3, I think that was like the peak of like holy man, this internet is crazy. Like I I was, bro, in that video, I I know everyone tells me that I pulled it off. Everyone tells me that was like a really good response, and I agree. In hindsight, I pulled that off pretty good, but bro, I was tweaking i was like uh i was literally like emaciated i don't know if i can find it wait up i'll find it but like you can kind of tell that i was like skinnier than i've ever been like i, I was, was literally actually like tweaking out 
Bro, I was, uh, yeah, I was like, I was sober or whatever, but like, I was very, uh, what's the word? Um, like, bro, I was basically barely sleeping and barely eating. Like, it wasn't a matter of me being, like, depressed or anything like that. It was literally just, like, straight stim. Like, imagine, imagine every day you wake up with just straight adrenaline, you know what I mean? Straight into your veins. You, you're not, like, hungry at all. Uh, you can barely, like, think straight, and you're, like, I'm, I recorded this probably with, like, no sleep. Somehow, that just translated to me being, like, really chill and not, like, you know, dumb. Uh, which is good, but yeah, it was that... it was like the best. What happened after, like the video gets removed, that was probably the best thing that could have happened because like that video got yeah. taken down. Then Keem's, I would have done it too. Like even though Keemstar is kind of like, he's obvious. He's obviously like been a morally questionable individual on the internet for like decades yeah. now, probably. But I yeah. would have did the same thing because like, dude, that's. That's drama alert. That shit's been like that was like a YouTube institution since day zero. Like that's like, and you Bro. were on there, and like H three low key was like he was like he became what he swore to destroy. So like I think it was I think it was valid. No, I I appreciate that. Yeah, I um, I talked to I talked to a lot of people by the way, like, making that decision. I was, like, bouncing it off of a lot of people, and everyone understood why I, I wasn't, like, certain, but everyone was just like, you, you just gotta do it. Like, when are you ever in your life gonna get that opportunity? And it's just like, that's facts, man. Like, that's you know when it's like, uh, like, that felt like I earned some some swag. Like, I got earned some, like, uh, some badges you know what i mean it's like got a video uploaded to drama alert like my video uploaded to drama alert that's some got rare ass shit. that's not even possible yeah. anymore so you got it's lit yeah that's like some classic youtube too that's like yeah that's and like then bro my oh my era. god bro i forgot the crate like i can't believe that this happened honestly in hindsight it's i've never really explored it that much because uh i mean i basically did this shit. i basically got the perfect hand dealt to me and like played it perfectly it well it all went and genuinely i don't think it could have gone humanly better okay yeah. uh with that response it was all just perfect wrapped up that arc perfectly and then i fumbled it by not releasing hong kong and being a weirdo but um that you know that's okay whatever we're we're back now but <laughs> but the biggest thing though is um uh keemstar was yeah getting uploaded to drama alert that was cool as but the h3 h3 podcast bro the fucker got pewdiepie on that podcast to like you know talk about my video he the, actually the, talked like, about you oh wait you're right what the he actually got a bunch of people to talk about it bro keemstar john tron uh like william osmond there's a couple like other people shoe nice even shoe nice got involved and like he tried to me over whatever it's okay because it's shoe nice that's kind of what i expected um but bro like the sec like the second i saw that pewdiepie the most subscribed youtuber on the entire website at bro, that and time that, and keep in mind that again that's something that w is just not possible now like in the sense of um i should say because pewdiepie also shouted out my video when it got removed um you're PewDiePie right i remember yeah. that yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I have like that screenshot where he's like, PewDiePie is just like saying like he was holding a gun, and I'm just like, holy, f like PewDiePie is thinking about me, and he's holding a gun, and like, oh man, ah, uh, that's like it's and this is like deep nerdy f that nobody actually cares about, but it's just like it's just like nerdy, you know, commentary community swag that uh, I just I'm really glad like it happened, you know what I mean, um. But yeah, man. Yeah, that's like something I don't think will ever happen again because no. PewDiePie is basically retired. Like he's not gonna get into like deep YouTube drama. Or he anything, doesn't do. Think. Yeah, he doesn't do that. He was doing kind of commentary at that time where he would talk about yeah. drama and stuff. He doesn't do that. Like, dude, what you did is not possible today, at all. All the yeah. people that would need to be there that would like have to orchestrate it. H three Keemstar, all those. You know, like the that was like the that was like the whirlpool back then or something. That was yeah. like that was like the 
It was like the hug box, but they weren't teamed up. They just all hated each other. It just, <laughs> it just created just a, like just constant content. That's yeah. not that's not a thing today. That was no, like, yeah. That was like the that was like the twenty ed, that was like the edgy era of YouTube kind of like sizzling out at that time. Yeah, facts. Yeah, that was that's some cra- that was some crazy. Shit. I f- remember like all of it. Like I kind of forgot some parts because it's been so long. But I re- I yeah. was just a I was just a viewer back then. I was just watching the. Shit. I had my little channel, but it was tiny back then. Like I wasn't involved with anything. So that was cr- that was some crazy shit to watch. Yeah, yeah. It's uh I'm like, dude, this this guy that I was watching with like 50k just got fucking talked about by PewDiePie. What the f- Yeah, bro. D- dude, like I got it is a bit of a Cinderella story in like a YouTube drama autistic way, but um yeah, the fascinating thing is it's like I I do have like this kind of uh weird um pedigree to an extent where like people remember like this and like they give me credit for all this stuff but i'm still a small youtuber like that's the thing you know what i mean like like i didn't capitalize on this very well you know what i mean um and so the good thing by the way like this is why i'm i'm anti-cope right like i don't like coping like lying to myself about reality but i'm also i'm also delusionally optimistic so i think that's like an important balance to strike like in order to do great things you need to be a bit delusionally optimistic, but in order to not like f- literally get yourself killed or like you know end up being a f- idiot, uh, you need to like not cope and like see reality or whatever. That's and so in my sure. mind, in my mind, I view it as a semi blessing that I didn't really pop off because, like I told you, I got stimmed the f- out after all of that. And bro, when I say my receptors were fried. Bro, I, my attention span, I feel like it's never been the same after that. Bro, uh, got cooked. I got my my circuits fried, bro. Because there's just so much, like, even if I add one more element to this, this was when Leafy came back, okay, and he popped off on, like, that hating uh, Pokemane, hating H3, and he was on YouTube, and I was there, I was... One of the last videos that Leafy uploaded, I was a guest on. Okay, so I also was on a Leafy video before he got banned. That's cr- right. It's actually just cracked. YouTube resume it's, going crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. I, yeah, and it's funny because nobody like the uh, like uh, the numbers never will give a f- like. You know what I mean? Like this is all just like lore. You know what I mean? It's just pure like f- autistic lore. But um, yeah, th- that time was just insane man and again combine it with coronavirus it's just like i'm like locked in my house stimming all day like how the f- i don't even know bro but the the reason i think that that was a uh, blessing in disguise somewhat is because yes i'll still be uploading the hong kong series and as you guys hopefully have been able to see from the sneako video my my editing skills have evolved you know what i mean like i am still improving which is like something i was worried about i was worried that i just became stupider over time i think you know i I'm actually getting smarter or like better at editing at least. Um, but yeah, being kind of low key, constantly having to like re prove myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, be- because I failed to basically like capitalize and like be consistent. It, it really has forced me to just evolve, you know what I mean? Like, um, I don't know if you've seen the way that we dropped the Sneeko video. You probably have, right? Oh, I yeah, saw you were- it, bro. I've, you've explained it like eight times on stream. I, I've, yeah. I know. That's good. Peak. That's insane. Yeah, I explained it a bunch on stream just because new people were coming in and but like, this is like the energy I want to bring, kind of where it's like, that was just fun. That was just fun as like, you know what I mean? Like, yes, Sneeko got spooked. He got scared as, but like when you think about it from the angle of just entertainment, that was hilarious. Like, you know what I mean? It was um, actually like that is probably. I've been I've I've been doing some trolling for a long time and I've like <laughs> seen people troll for a long time. Professional that, troll. That is genuinely the craziest troll I think I've seen in like ever. Like of Fuck. all time. Like it's insane. Like I yeah. can't even I can't even think of a troll better than that one. There's been some crazy ones I've been a part of or like um the ones I've seen, but that sh- is like especially like you pulled that off today like youtube is the most corporate ass 
website, like everything is, and not only that, just trolling on the internet in general nowadays is so much harder because they just, it, it's all restricted. Yeah. Everyone's got a moderator. Everyone's got like 12 little goons that will like do research on like some, some the fact you were able to infiltrate Sneeko stream and do this red room ass bit. And you were public about it too. You were live streaming yourself making this video for like how long? Bro, for two months, two good months, I was basically just like, I need to finish this. Let's just like live stream it so that I have to, I have to like make progress. Um, it yeah. was, it's at, like the fact no one snitched is a miracle is what I'm saying. Bro, it's, it's. It's that's the thing is like I, I I hope at least but like in my mind I was thinking this is hopefully if everything works this is going to be the last time where I'm basically an unknown you know what I mean because bro YouTube it's very fickle like other YouTubers they don't give a f about me like at all like they the vast majority just think I'm washed up idiots they don't even remember the videos they don't give a f um obviously you were like a viewer like you're kind of invested in my f story but like for other YouTubers they don't no f given you know what i mean um so in my mind i realized i was like dude i'm actually unknown like i'm i'm like just lurking basically and so i was literally like i was playing a character in sneeko's uh discord or whatever like when he had a, an editing contest i just submitted something as uh gulag prisoner charlie just to like test just to see like maybe maybe neck recognize i don't know and he didn't he didn't recognize so I was like, I can, I can get away with like, uh, socially engineering this. And, um, yeah, in my mind, I, I did nothing unethical at all. Like Sneeko no. asked, Sneeko asked people to send him for his PO box. So I sent him something for his PO box. That's Sneeko insane. Yeah. Sneeko asks for people to, um, uh, send him submissions for like an editing contest. So I sent him a submission for an editing contest. Sneeko, uh, you know, we posted publicly in his Discord, like, an invitation to this game show. Sneeko accepted, you know what I mean? Like, every part of the way, it was just like, he he was following along, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I think, I was really glad with how, how it, it ended up happening. Like, the, bro, the fact that he just reacted to, like, it, even even the fact that he watched, like, 20 minutes of it, I was just like, we, we did it, dude. Like, we did it. Yeah. That was... God. It's the best troll I've ever seen. I'm okay. That's probably cap, but I, I appreciate the compliment. No, I, I'm being genuine. I've okay. I've done some crazy ass, but it's all like, it's all games. It's it's never been yeah. like some IRL like red room at. You're actually electrocuting yourself with a dog collar. Like yeah. what the fuck? like I've like Bro, I'm, I'm I wish I thought of that. I should bro, do not, that. I'm gonna copy you. Do it, bro. I'm yeah, that would be that. That would pop off if you did that in like in somehow if you could do that in a Minecraft context, like with talk, like if you're like in a call with the mods or some. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, I I don't know how you would pull it off. To be honest, I don't, I barely know how I pulled it off. But like the the point is is like, um, what amazed me, like I would love. Bro, I would love to, two things. I would want I would want to experience two perspectives, right? Because for me, um, I just saw everything coming too far ahead. Like I just was too invested. I understood too much. So I would love to have been a viewer. So Saplo, uh, my boy Saplo, he's my editor. I don't know if you've talked to him or if you're aware of him. I have. Saplo's I'm making a video with him. Good, good. Saplo's a, a very uh, good dude. He's uh, an up and comer in my opinion. He's he's got high potential. You definitely should collaborate with him. I, uh, I with doing, Saplo I'm heavy. doing one where we go on like uh, old Minecraft servers or something. We're supposed to film it tomorrow. Actually, should be good. Yeah, fuck should yeah. Should be peak. Saplo's chill, but he's also like a goblin, like in the sense, like he's a good <laughs> he's a good guy, but he understands the art of the troll. You know what I mean? Like he understands like the art of trolling. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he has like a very good sense of humor for that, and he's very like good natured too. Like he's chaotic good as well. But um, the the I'm jealous of him because um, he he reacted to the like um, uh, Sneeko, you know the whatever the prank that we pulled. 
Um, I would love to be in the perspective of Sneeko's chat, number one. Like, imagine watching a live stream. You think it's just going to be a mid-ass live stream, and then that shit happens, right? It's genuinely would, crazy content. It's Bro, it's a magical moment. Like, I, everyone, like, the majority of the chatters in there are not going to forget that shit, Even if Sneeko privates the VOD, which he did. Like, no, that's people a will remember that sh dude, 100%. There's no way yeah. they're not going to... Dude, that was, like, probably the craziest ever happened on his f***ing mid-ass stream. The f what yeah, does that yeah. guy do? That guy just sits there and f watches like Wolf of Wall Street or something? <laughs> like, what the f***? Like, you were, yeah, yeah, that was a weird... Yeah, Genuinely, weird. like, I never got the... Like, what? Why the f*** do people, like, watch this dude? Like, he's genuinely, like, it's not even, like, that entertaining. Like, I did some... I watched your video. I did research before because I was genuinely curious because he's one of those like new age kind of controversial but like really popular ass streamer people. I'm like, why do people, what did this guy do before? He was like a motivational type speaker or something and it was kind of chill. He, and then he's he good, just, he's good. And then he just like went full f Sigma f red pill. I hate all f insert race, religion yeah, yeah. here. And it's just like, what the f And then I saw he was, like, bro is like, he's just, I think, a pro, he's like a professional weasel. He can just weasel yeah, his yeah. way into f anything. Yeah, yeah I think He's mastered you're right. that. Because I, I low-key, like, dude, I f weaseled my way into f Minecraft. The f I played Unturned yeah. for five years, and no one gave a f And then I, like, just mm -hmm. did it on a whim. And then I like linked up with everyone. It's it, anyone can do it. Literally anyone in the chat right now could like start YouTube, and like if you just put in enough effort, you can weasel your way to anywhere. Really, just takes time. It's like that. That's like, but he's mid though. He's mid. The streams aren't even that good. Like what the? Like yeah. I don't understand why people watch him. But that yeah. that was you actually just you actually like you him up with the video, but you blessed him because that stream was probably boring as before you got there. Yeah, it was. Like, he was clearly desperate for content. Like, why else would he agree to this random, creepy, weird thing? He, like, the whole, like, the thing with, like, there's a, there's a lot of levels to that stunt we pulled. I don't, I, I don't have to go through all of them, but it's like, he has been talking for a while about how shit is demonic, right? Like, there's demonic energy. He believes in demons. Um, there's like, a, he talks about this a lot, you know what I mean? And so I was thinking, like, I'll summon a demon on this guy's stream you know what i mean like i'll <laughs> <laughs> i was in my head i was thinking like because there was a there was one uncertainty there was one uncertainty going into this and it was will this guy back out will this guy back out because he is against all this demonic stuff like he says you know certain music is demonic he says certain celebrities are demonic he talks a lot about how demons are real and you know you have to watch your energy and all this so i tried in every way to make that game show feel like literally like a demonic presence just entered his home and i succeeded like he was clearly freaked the out he actually he threw the robot away he thought yeah he thought you bugged his house or something with the yeah bro fan mail that's actually yeah, he, crazy but like even with the questions leading up to it it was like we were, we, I was trying to, like, it was like, we kept getting it, like, to, like, I was trying to basically get him to think harder about what he was doing. Because it's like, um, do you feel like you're in control? And then immediately he's just, like, looking behind him. He's, like, weirded out. Um, but he doesn't think, clearly, he doesn't think that hard. He just says yes. And then we, we keep going. It's like, eventually we get to, like, um, uh, Adam what was it it was oh yeah what did the devil really give to adam okay and then the answer is choice and he's just not thinking at all he's like pure stim brain he's like completely just content focused and so then we give him this like the option to open a briefcase technically this was the one thing that needed to happen okay um was he needed to open that briefcase and it was a genuine test in my mind it was a genuine test would this guy open the briefcase despite the fact that we are clearly doing something kind of demonic here, despite the fact of like all these, you know, philosophic questions we're asking, will he f open this briefcase that's clearly hyped up as like a, uh, you know, some spiritually f weird thing? And he immediately, he immediately just fell directly into the trap. Like, open that briefcase. Let yeah, me immediately. See immediately, yeah. And like, 
I think most people would have opened the briefcase, but I thought in my mind, I was like, there's a chance that this guy is like, he's, he's sketched out and he's just like, no, this is like some demon. <laughs> but no, immediately straight into the trap. And uh, yeah, the video, he, he, li I like the thinking where it's like, he released that video. You know what I mean? Like we let him do that. That's um, the craziest release of a video I've ever seen. Yeah, bro. I'm, and let me just say the main reason, um, we did it like that because it's kind of poetic in a way right because it's like this is where you realize that i'm actually autistic right like <laughs> this is where you realize like yeah not diagnosed whatever it's like a meme but uh this is where you kind of realize like what the f why is it why do i think like this but like you were i think you were present for some of the gulag streams that we did which is like me being chained uh in a f basement I, I i i went to i i i clicked on like three of them because i was just like I saw the, like, I swear the thumbnail was just, like, a f just you at a computer. Yeah. I'm like, what yeah. the f he's, what is he doing? He's, he's cooking. I knew you were cooking something. I didn't know what yeah. it was, though. I was like, he's clearly doing some crazy shit. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, like, bro, uh -huh. the gulag, we don't talk about the f gulag because what happens in the gulag stays in the gulag and we're not in the gulag anymore, but... Those streams were tough. Those were tough streams. Um, and there's only like probably 30 to 50 people who actually tuned in for that, shit, which, you know, respect and whatever. And you tuned in. So, like, I do remember that and I respect you, bro. You were like, trust me, I, I will remember everyone who was at the Gulag streams because that shit was. Fucking... I showed up to the Gulag. I was saying, I was giving yeah. out the bread. Yeah, or yeah. You you gotta go to gokamerch.com, Okay, we're gonna have our shirts. I was at I was in the Gokunar Gulag. Yeah, go to the merch website, buy everything, and yeah. then steal your mom's credit card, donate the entire, max the credit card out, send all the money to Gokunaru right now. This is real. Fuck Rob yeah. your local bank. Give all the money to Gokunaru. Thank you. Yeah, sign up for the email list. Sign and, up for uh, the email list. He's going to use all of your email addresses for porn sites. It's going to be epic and awesome. Don't don't miss out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate the layup, though. I appreciate Shout it. Shout out, bro. Yeah, no, but tr I mean, we do have cool <laughs> there. And we have, by the way, for everyone who was in the Gokunar Gulag, we do have... Uh, we have, like, merch coming that will be, you know, catered to the white rabbit operation uh anyway that's enough about the merch i am plugging the merch heavy just because i'm a little fiend and i want money but yeah i've got i dropped merch too i was i was plugging yeah. it all over my Instagram. i i bro i like merch because it's like i you get something and i get something you know what i mean it's not like a donation really it's it's like a trade it's i like it um you get this sh you get this shirt i get this money and then mm -hmm. You get to promote my stuff on your body. Walk the <laughs> way. Let's go. That's that's a W, yeah. Yeah. It really is anyway, a W. So the autistic thing I was talking about was uh so we spent two ish months in these gulag streams. Um and bro, I was getting tortured in these streams. I was staying awake for like forty hours during no, these I streams. I remember joining one and you had already been streaming for like ten hours or something. I swear yeah. it was like what this guy's cracked out of his mind. Yeah, we did a couple twenty four hour streams. Um anyway. And it is funny because you could theoretically go back and see me like finishing the video basically but the point of it all is i was the the meta the meta shit is that i was stuck in that gulag until this video was finished okay until this shit got released i was stuck in that gulag i was chained to the wall literally a chain around my foot and so the uh way that my autism uh you know <laughs> manifested was by sneeko opening that briefcase simultaneously he released the video and he released me from the gulag. So when he's You're reacting, free. yeah. So when he's reacting, uh, the video originally was titled "Free at Last," right? That was the original title. So when he first clicked on it, he's like the first person watching the video. That which is a crazy thought. Um, he's just thinking like this is just stream content. This guy is just like entertaining, I guess. And it's literally as if he just released me as like a demon that's gonna and like fucking. He just gets nuked. He just gets yeah. up. He got the video f***ed him up so much, like some weird shit happened where like a fan of his or f him 
false strike the video. Yeah, the uh, the the moment when I realized like he was actually f- spooked was um, there's a couple, but like he skipped through like the timeline to like see deeper into the video, and he saw. I don't know if you remember from the video, but he saw that he I had a clip. Rally. He saw yeah. that rally where yeah. he goes up there like a dumbass, and he's like, Nick Fury yeah. will be the next. We're like, shut the f- up, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. which is like, I don't know how you, like, that's a tough one to come back from, is like at a, you know, effectively, yeah, Nazi or whatever, white nationalist rally to go up onto the stage and say that the the ringleader of the rally is going to be the president. That's a tough one. So like he, that was something he was trying to bury because it, not just because it's like, it looks bad, but also rumble the platform rumble suspended Nick Fuentes for doing that. Right. So like free speech platform, but like that, that was like the one that like the FBI probably was like, what the is this? You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Um, it's like, cause that's like, those groups, those are usually classified as like domestic terrorist groups. So yeah, he's just out here endorsing them, saying yeah, some he's... weird like we will win the holy war, like bro. Yeah, he could get he could get like uh, barred from flights. You know what I mean? He could like not be allowed to leave the country. Like there's there's actual real consequences to being that stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes if you go you go so stupid, you just get f-ed up. Also, I think your mic f-ed killed itself again. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, my bad. God bless. Yeah. Anyway, okay. That's that's pretty much all I got. Feel free to ask more questions, though, bro. But uh, yeah, that was I don't know. that was some good. That was some dope. Uh, another question I got. This is gonna be the one where you're gonna want to gouge your ears and eyes out, and you're gonna want to like jump out the window because you've probably been asked this eight billion times in the last probably four years three years however long it's been so what is going on with the hong kong series because you made one video i i remember seeing this was years ago i remember you being on twitter i like replied to you i don't think the reply still exists because i've wiped my twitter like twice since then but i asked like the video it didn't come out like for a long time and i literally like i asked like blink twice if the ccp got you because i genuinely thought like you filmed something you shouldn't have and that's why the videos didn't come out but you just said that you're still working on them what, what's going on with those like what happened okay, I, what's the so lore for the, okay so for for the record i could get theoretically i absolutely could get arrested for what i recorded um so that is i guess it's like a that's like a minor stressor like i ideally i wouldn't want I would like to go back to Hong Kong someday, but that's that's irrelevant. Like I'm not that that's not re- a real reason. Um, the if I'm giving like reasons, um, I would say that the H three H three thing being stimmed the f- out, uh, burning myself out really bad that whole time. I was just that contributed. But the thing is, is that what you need to understand is that immediately after the H three video, I sat down and I was like. Episode two, we're working on episode two. I just got like a brutal writer's block. And the whole goal, the whole goal of the series was like every week I have to release an episode. But then I missed that second week after the stim fest. Um, and so when I, when I, the first week, I was like, okay, well, all right, next week, next week. And then I, that. And so it had become three weeks. And then what happened, I was still working on it. I, but what happened was, uh, new laws dropped in Hong Kong, uh, the national security laws. And those laws, when I say that those laws were like a checkmate to the protesters, as in like, like I went into the series thinking that there was hope um, that this, the protesters would get some concessions, basically, that they're, you know, there was, like I was, in a way I was extremely naive yeah. because what what I've come to learn is that Hong Kong is just not a democracy. Like, it never has been. And what this national security uh, laws, you know, thing that basically uh, went through their kind of uh, parliamentary system, whatever you would call it, um, it basically made it so, like, you just can't protest effectively. Like, you just can't protest. Uh, It was basically like a massive black pill. Uh, People got arrested. Uh, the, The biggest newspaper chain apple daily that was like you know 
people say uh, there's ways you can because this is the problem right there's multiple there's so many problems with this series but it's like I say this to everybody and I say it every time but it's gonna get released I know it's gonna get released because there's no way unless I die there's no way that I am gonna let the footage I got not be shown you know what I mean um yeah because uh it's it is wild it is wild like I can't like to be honest I think I'm in the head for sitting on it for as long as I have already. It's probably up that I did, but um, yeah, I, I do think I will do it justice. You know what I mean? If you have faith in me, whatever. But the point that I was getting at is that uh, the biggest newspaper, Apple Daily, um, which again, some people say pro West, some people just say anti, you know, CCP, whatever. Yeah. Both, both are true. Both are basically true. You know what I mean? Um, but they got completely shut down like the federal agents or whatever you call them like they stormed the building they arrested the ceo and like from there it was basically like okay we don't have freedom of press anymore because that was the big advantage that hong kong had over mainland china which is that they had the right to um uh it was the right let me just see it was the right to free press yeah but wait up let me just look it up he's looking it up I know they had, I know they were a little more liberal than than mainland China in that regard. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. Let me see if I actually have an old ass version. This is possible. Just give me a minute. I might. Oh yeah, holy. He's going into the <laughs> receipts. Do you want to see proof that this is like real? Yeah, send that. Shit. I want to see. All right, here you go, guys. This is exclusive look at episode two. Just because we're already FBI wiping your brain, so. Yeah, here you go. We're getting that exclusive. This is old. Like I just uploaded this as a test. I don't even remember why, but let's it. Let's just show you because it's gonna show. Yeah, so I'll show like, you the I first three minutes. This as a test. I don't even... Um, and you'll realize why. At the time, I got stumped on this part. I'll show you. I don't think I've ever seen that. Show it up. Okay, so basically, that's oh sorry, that was uh, never public. Yeah, that's that's unseen. But the problem that I encountered basically was uh, um, that just stopped being true, like like almost immediately after I edited that. This is again, this is an old copy. Like uh, I just figured I'd show you. Like you can see it's, that version's unfinished and whatever. But like um, the problem that I encountered was. For the freedom of press, freedom of religion, and uh, freedom of speech. That just stopped being true while I was editing that. Damn. And so it was like, yeah, so it was like kind of a mind because I was like, well, how the, f like, I was just like, how, like, I, I just edited the part where I was talking about this and now it's just not true. It fucking um, changed be because of the going on. They changed yeah, it. Yeah, the rules changed. Um, while I was editing that shit. and so I got like a bit spooked and I was confused and like the biggest problem as well is like uh there is a like a language barrier obviously to an extent to an extent um and so basically like when that when that happened and like I just didn't know how to like convey that the national security law just came into effect or whatever I got stumped on that for like two probably like bro i probably got something that for like three months or so and then i would come back and i would like try and force it um but yeah i got stumped on that for a while now the good news is is that this the series is real and it like will get uploaded it's gonna the ideal is it's gonna be 10 to 12 episodes and um yeah i mean that's proof you know that it is real um nobody's seen that before right so 10 episodes bro that's crazy yeah yeah and that's doable because like bro if you think about it like the sneako video is kind of like 20 videos in one right like an hour and 50 minutes if each episode's like 10 to 15 minutes you know what i mean um anyway but obviously like there is there has been progress made like that's the thing as well like it's not like it's just been completely uh, sidelined although to an extent obviously it kind of has but um it's been on the back burner. Um, and yeah, a big part of why it's been on the back burner is because like, 
it's, it is a complicated, complicated ass situation. I think you could probably imagine, like, um, there's, there's multiple reasons. Like there's, okay. So other problems I had was I wanted to make it feel personal. So my original idea was, you know how Shane Dawson had like for a while, he had like his documentary series, which was like the kind of dog documentaries. He was like at Tanacon, yeah. uh, whatever, talking to Jake those. Paul. Those were In big. For yeah, ins inside the mind of Jake Paul, right? And so those blew the f up. Those got like 10 million, 15 million views. It's just unreal. And at the time, I was thinking, I should try to like take notes from that. I should try to pull that off. And uh, the problem that I encountered was nobody that I recorded, nobody that I interacted with wanted to be in it because they were all like, you know, students who are now, you know, like in the workforce and they might want to work in China, all this, shit, you know what I mean? Like most people aren't as in the head as like me, right? Like when the protests really hit, when, cause the whole, it is a storyline that's going to be followed, right? It's a storyline of like me coming in as a noob, uh, just like a student. And as I'm living there, I'm slowly seeing more and more unrest, more and more, you know, um, very obvious signs that social order is kind of um, falling apart. Collapsing. And then that, yeah, and then that eventually culminates in, there's a, a very overt moment where it's like a strange event happens at this university that I'm at. And that is the moment, we didn't realize it at the time, but that was the moment when it's like, holy this just got really, really real. And suddenly all of the f friends and like people that I was interacting with and met, they, all the foreigners, like the foreign students, they were getting plucked and pulled out of Hong Kong. Like literally their governments were like setting them up with uh, plane tickets to like leave immediately. Um, so like almost everybody that I knew left and everyone was like freaked out all this. Shit. Basically like the university that I was at got, um, Effectively, um, it, like uh, shut down. It, it didn't just get shut down. It got taken over by the protesters. Uh, the thing is, is that the protesters were students, right? So like oh. a lot of the, a lot of the local students that I met were, you know, partake like people who were uh, taking over the universities. And so like this was kind of the last stand of um, the protests. Uh, this is like the most famous. Um, you know thing that happened which nobody understands nobody this is the thing why i felt like this is just like it's a heavy ass responsibility to an extent like and i've i've squandered it i've kind of it up but uh it's like in intimidated me right like and i've done some up like videos i've done like ambitious videos this sneako video is to an extent ambitious but it's like it's on another level when it's re actually real like when it's actually like um, I know a historical event occurred and you were there. Like I don't know how to put it. It's That's it's actually like actually insane that you were, like you willingly went to a place like that. Like especially like when you said it was mostly students protesting. Like I think of Tiananmen Square because that was those people were all students too. It's like, yeah, this is the the thing that was like people were freaked the f out, man. Like I'm telling you, people that I lived there for like three months ish with uh like i'm talking like students from uh netherlands students from um you know france students from uh sweden so, uh, so many of the people that i met just like despawned basically like they, they literally out. just got yeah they just got s scooped and so suddenly i like the only place that i have to live is like this university campus and it's now overrun i'm getting emails every single day from the people like the basically like you know the the representatives of canada or whatever like you gotta leave uh you're getting um uh, emails from the director of the university that i'm staying at saying you gotta leave like it was um completely uh uh a completely like the more probably the most chaotic situation i've ever been in and um me and one other um woman who thankfully has consented to being in the series if she didn't it would be very very difficult to pull off but like uh me and one other woman were like kind of the only uh foreign students who stuck around and wanted to document what was going on um and so i can show you actually 
Just it, cause you're gonna get FBI wiped anyway, right? <sighs> we're getting, we're Deep getting lore, black, bro. We're getting black black men flashed. We're not getting you. Really you started this like yeah. You started this thinking that this was just like kind of jokes, but like now we're getting into like reality a bit. Anyway, um, yeah. So if you've seen the trailer that I made. I'm glad I got the trailer out. Let me just say that. Like, I know I, I literally edged everybody for years and years at this point. No one gives a shit, But I'm glad I got this trailer out because a lot of Hong Kongers reacted to this trailer very positively. Like, they really liked the hopeful message. It just got by the new laws um, is the problem. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, here, I'll show you. So this trailer, I think this is probably one of the best trailers. Yeah, this is the best trailer I've ever made. Um, I do think I'm good at trailers, but this one was like high level. And so the point of this trailer was to basically convey the... It started off very calm. Like when I went to Hong Kong initially, it was actually very calm. It was pretty relaxed. I'm saying this from my perspective, okay? The protests were happening throughout. They just weren't as insane to the point where a, you know, foreigner was getting, you know, uh, confronted by them, right? Yeah. Um, and so this this trailer kind of starts really melodic and, like, you know, beautiful and whatever. And then you, you see how there's, like, a lot of this trailer shows how it evolved and, like, where it ended up get going. It's just you, you guys don't have any of, like, the, the, the blanks are not filled in, which is, like, obviously the actual upload we'll have to do. Um... But yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you the trailer for right now, and I might, you know, pause and talk about a part. This amazed me. I was amazed by this because obviously, like to us, Pepe's kind of a meme. It if is not, just like a meme, yeah. But yeah, yeah. But in this context, it was literally like a freedom fighting symbol. Um, so a lot of people, it was almost like you know, if you have a Pepe imagery, it's like. It's like you're based, like you're, you're a protester, basically, is the, you know, idea. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is a, so the progression that you're following right here is basically, yeah, go from touristy, like, you know, whatever, to now, now we're talking, now this is like the campus, okay, so, th right, this was another incident that happened. Um, this was like one of the uh, earlier times where, I really like saw the riot police like while I was just hanging out with friends and whatever. Um, and I went up. This is oh right. This is a uh, just us chilling. I remember this. This oh this is cool. This is scary and whatever. But this is actually just like a celebration. Um, I believe it's for the uh, Moon Festival um, that they do yearly. But then we cut to like this is the university getting you know graffitied destroyed. Um, and so now it's like shit. This is basically when shit gets real. Uh, this is there that when it says come out, they're referring to the uh, the person who like the president of the university because he there's a, a theory and it's probably true. There's a theory that the president of the university abandoned um, the students. Like he did, he evacuated immediately when she went sour. Out. Yeah, yeah. So like the students were pissed off because he that guy is supposed to like you know, be representing the students and he just like bailed out and he probably called the cops and all this. Shit. Um, yeah. And then we're, what I'm teasing. Oh, right. Yeah. This is, uh, holy, shit, this is quite, quite a memory, man. Holy shit. see. Okay. So there's, I'll, t I'll talk about the problems in, in a bit, but this is a, a mall that, uh, I hung out at a lot. Um, yeah, this was one of the more crazy nights where the like the mall basically got trashed, and the the big thing that f***ed with me was like the protesters were very uh, organized in the sense that uh, it was not like um, a looting type of situation, which you can you can see absolutely in like the states because it's like very anarchy. Yeah, uh, like uh, like it's uh, like I I'm let me just say like I'm very. Uh, open-minded when it comes to protests and whatever um but yes there is like looting that happens in the states there was like zero looting at all in this context at all and i was amazed by that um but the reason that they trashed this mall was to distract the police from another university where like they were fighting students is very 
very weird, bro. It's really urban warfare. Like I was, I was amazed. I was like, what the? Because obviously I'm a foreigner, right? I, I'm not in on the plans. Like, I'm, I'm not an insider. I'm an outsider. You know what I mean? So I'm just observing all this shit and trying to understand what the fuck happened. Um, and in time I understood and whatever, but it, bro, it took a long time to put the pieces together. But um, yeah, this this was uh, a weird night where we were out drinking, we were out chilling, like, it was just a casual night, and then literally a f***ing, like, row of, like, eight police cruisers pulls up. Um, very odd, man. And then we see him chase, I think. Oh, yeah, another night where we see a bunch of them. You said that the some of the protesters were fighting, like, students, like, like who? Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. The the pro the protesters were uh, were the students. The protest like all the almost all the students. Sorry, almost all of the protesters oh, were they, students. Yeah, they were students. I that's yeah, why I was yeah, confused. And, I'm like, are the, is dude? It's like it's like two like basketball teams like the fans like brawling like that's what I kind of thought. Yeah, like, huh? no, my bad, my bad. They so they they uh, the big thing was. Um, our school, so all all there's like four universities that are within Hong Kong that were coordinating this like kind of strike esque situation where basically they took over the schools. Okay, yeah. so four four different universities, and so um, each university had like different levels of heat. Okay, each university had like different levels of GTA stars. You know what I mean? Um, like each whatever each university had like a different amount of attention from police and so there's one university one night that was just like really getting a f like they had five stars yeah like five were, stars bro they got yeah the, they got the choppers on them too yeah exactly and so our university had like two stars and so the students basically ran to this mall and started trashing the mall like doing like damage so that they could bring like maybe one more star to us and like potentially take it away from uh, the other university is very, very weird, bro. That's why I was saying urban warfare, because it was just like, it was weirdly tactical. Like, I don't know how to put it. Um, but yeah, you can see this was like, there's was, there was a few moments when I guess you could say like I inhaled like uh, pepper spray or not pepper spray. Um, yeah, I guess not pepper spray. It's Oh yeah, tear gas. Sorry, tear gas Fucking was like tear gas, bro. Yeah, tear gas was everywhere, pretty much. But it was obviously like the worst when the sh cops showed up. Like when the cops showed up, it was almost as if I don't know what a video game equivalent would be, but um, it was like your your hunger was all the way down in Minecraft in the sense of like you knew the cops were around because like you just were starting to cry or like. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of I get it. It's like. Um... When the cops are, if we're putting it in Minecraft terms, it's like when the cops are out, it's like when you're in the deep dark and the warden shows up, you just get blindness yes. from proximity. Yes. Thank you. That's actually perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I knew there was a better one. That's that's better. Yeah. Um, man, yeah, Jesus Christ. So, yeah, this is them chasing a student. This is some crazy ass like footage that you've just been sitting on yeah i'm a idiot man like uh i mean i think it's i think this is you could totally do like this could totally still work because you could say like what happened to the yeah. hong kong protests because that no, was I know like, it, such a big thing everyone was talking about a few years ago like no i know it can work i know it can work man and and it, it will be like it will be better, I guess, in a sense, if I guess like I'm more popular on YouTube when it gets dropped. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it, it will work. It's just like obviously this this wasn't the plan to like take this long. Like it was never the plan. Well, but, I know uh, you said you were trying to get them out like one a week, which yeah, which fell apart, yeah, pretty badly. I feel that I, dude, I, I'm tr I try to get videos out like every Tuesday, and I can't because my. <laughs> It's another thing where it's like my standards are so high. Do you ever have that problem where you're working on something and you just feel like getting rid of it because it doesn't feel good? Yeah. Enough? Well, this is the problem that I encountered. This is a, again, this is one that, like, I'm, I'm gonna make it work. Like, it'll be fine. But no, it'll be the fire. problem. Yeah, the problem though, the big problem that I encountered was, uh, bro, <laughs> I was the furthest thing from a professional when I recorded this. So I'm using 
phone footage and uh, my kind of <laughs> camera um, that I barely know how to use. And so the the footage is kind of it's not ideal quality. Let's just put it like that. But like it's absolutely it's like usable. Um, it's just scuffed. You know what I mean? Which is like on brand, but uh, you know it does make it a little bit di more difficult. Plus, obviously, I wasn't like. Shane Dawson has a camera guy who carries the camera. I like needed to be aware of my surroundings while pointing the camera. Like it felt like I was playing Outlast. I don't know if you. Uh, yeah, no I, Outlast. I understand. I didn't play it, but my friend like did a full playthrough and I watched it, so I understand. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, basically, I was just a noob at recording like this, and I just uh, like the footage is like technically subpar, but like I, I'll make it work without a doubt but yeah that was just like another concern i had where it's like i don't have like certain moments i don't have a ton of footage and i and the footage i did get was like mid but um thankfully this is one of the most well documented you know protests of all time pretty much so there is like other angles and stuff like that but yeah that's that was two ups or two things that me up was not being able to use my friends or like people that i've you know, recorded, I they guess. They bailed out. They're like, nah, man, I don't want to get sent anthrax in my mailbox e by the CCP. Yeah, well, it's more, it's more like a lot of them are like professionals now. And like even back then they were like keeners. Like they were just like, you know, they were like business students or something. And so it makes sense. Like why, why would a business student want to risk their business connections by being in some idiot YouTuber series? That makes um, sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean... You know, you already know I'm going to try and finesse it, though. But, like, they, I'm still going to bust their balls when it comes time to release. Like, and I'm, and if they don't let me, I'll censor people's faces. Like, I'll make it work. It's just how scuffed is it going to be? That's the big question. But, yeah. It's... I think the amateur filming kind of adds to it. I don't know if anyone yeah. else feels that way. But I think amateur stuff feels more... It's more raw and it's more genuine. And I think that's... Yeah like that's a unique angle like you were out there like in the trenches bro like you were inhaling tear gas into your that big old schnoz i got a big one too so i i can i i i bet that hurt like yeah. that's some real that like i don't think any other youtube creator went and like did anything like that that i know of like, yeah. where they're, like, where they're there. And you were there, like, it's not like you flew out there. I thought you flew out there. I was like, this guy is, like, going all out for this. But you went on a business thing or, like, a uh, school thing, sorry. You went on because yeah. you were a student. I didn't even know that was, like, a thing you could do. So that's so, crazy. So this is, yeah, this is where uh, I've maintained mystery for a while. And, again, you're going to get FBI wiped, so it's fine. But Yeah, men in black, um, we're going to get beamed but um yeah no but it's like mo like almost everybody uh assumed that i fully was just chasing the the high like chasing the dragon like i sought out all this shit. like i flew there because of the protest everyone was thinking i was a maniac um and it's cool that people think that you know it's like cool that people imagine that I'm like a gonzo journalist or whatever but it was literally like just the weirdest most surreal timing possible like I literally you know it was like a foreign exchange thing uh my friend convinced me to do um and yeah I was I was there as a plebeian I was literally there as a plebeian and that's why I do think it'll be very interesting whatever comes of it because it is literally going to be from the POV of a random young foreigner that was a student during this time and weirdly as a student i got insight i got footage i got like a perspective that none of the media outlets got because all the media outlets were talking to other reporters they were talking to like officials they were talking to like they were they're basically you know being professional whereas i was literally just talking to students and then this sh goes down and it's like I'm, I, I was living in the middle of it you know what I mean it was a very very uh, odd odd experience that's some that's crazy sh like that's like you said yeah that's no media outlet like was doing it like that like that's it like oh there's, there's a weird 
you're right there's a weird meta too where um there was a lot of people who went there to record um but it was only like for profit so it was i did i didn't know this was a thing but it makes sense that they it's were a thing, selling but... their footage to the media exactly exactly so yeah. a lot of the people who wear the press you know uniforms and get like the craziest camera angles like that footage doesn't even get released like it barely gets even used like it gets used maybe in like news cycles or whatever but that's basically like adventure bros going out recording shit and selling it to the like cnn you know what i mean um so yeah this is and yeah this is like a very weird perspective in the sense it's scuffed as it's literally from a random youtuber student kid and i was there basically like i was friends with some of the people who were protesting all this shit. very weird it's actually like, it's goaded. I don't know if your mic cut out or if you just stopped talking. I think you're good. Though. Uh, no, you're good. Yeah. No, it's, that's like, it's just so, it's such a unique thing. And it was so out of, like, as a viewer, it was so out of left field. Like, Bro, that's crazy. The last thing I expected this guy to do after destroying H3H3's entire youtube reputation they started losing subs like i was like i was like invested like i remember watching this shit. and then this guy's like i'm like i wonder what he's gonna do next and then he drops this video where he's like yo i'm finna go to hong kong and i'm gonna record stuff and potentially get killed by this chinese communist party like huh excuse me what and then it was like good too it was like it was crazy like yeah it's like you can say it's scuffed, but I don't, I personally don't think it's scuffed. I think that's like, that is like that, like what you did, that's more journalism. That's more journalistic. That's whatever you want to say. That's peak journalism. That's better journalism than any major media outlet does. They just read a teleprompter and like, say like, basically like a summary of what happened. Then they're like usually biased or some. You actually mentioned that in your original video. You're like, yeah. They're like, yeah, they're, they're biased. You know, like the mainstream media, they said violent protests, all this, shit, and you're just walking in the airport and it's like just chill. Yeah. It's like a, another Tuesday. There's like nothing going on. They're like the violent anti government protesters and the way they'd word it too, because it's like they're not anti government in a like in a sense they're anti like government encroachment like they don't want their yeah. rights taken away by the ccp yeah. like the most evil government currently like a, like going on it's like the only thing you could compare the ccp to is like fascist italy or nazi germany or like the soviet union it's like genuinely like a the most it's like a this authoritarian state that commits genocide and this isn't like a hundred years ago or like 90 years ago like back then when this was like a common thing this is today right now today and this is some and like this little segment of this country is like yo we should like say that these people suck and then they get shut down and then you just are like hey i'm gonna go there as an exchange student and I'm going to record the stuff. But instead of selling it to, like, the media, like all these other schmucks, I'm going to make a YouTube video. And that's, like, that's the craziest shit. That's just yeah, some crazy ass shit, bro. Yeah, you're touching on some real shit there where it's, like, that was a f***ed up moment for me was realizing I, like, actually, like, I actually am um, more, uh, like, I do have more of an affinity to truth than, like, journalists most journalists like especially mainstream journalists you know what i mean like absolutely in my mind yeah being like a journalist is like having a loyalty to like figuring out the truth or getting to the bottom of shit, more or less and so yeah no that was a up moment where it's like i because the whole time i thought that i was the biggest just idiot like i was just like what am i doing here pretty much but i just felt like a drive to record it because i was like this is the only skill i have pretty much i might as well try to use it um but yeah man i uh i was surprised there, there's i i uh i don't know man uh it's a weird thing but uh yeah that was uh that was a that was a up uh period Big I, I would i would love to have been a viewer back then man because that must have been such a mind it was bro i'm i was just like 
I don't even remember how old I was. I remember watching the H3 video. I was like, this is some crazy. Shit. Then I just like, sometimes if I find a content creator I like, I'll actually, I'm one of the rare people that will like genuinely go and binge all of their other st stuff to see if it's good. Yeah. And it like, I, I enjoyed like most of your content. Like most of it was just skits with you and your brothers in your house. I'm like, this is just chill. And then I'm waiting. I'm like, this guy, just some, there's some crazy shit. He did this H3 vid, bro broke out from that. Then he did like, you did the no stupid questions, are traps a gay video, and that was funny. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you did this serious thing, then it's kind of back to normal, then boom. I'm in Hong Kong, there's a protest going on, I'm recording it, this is going to be a series, but then it like didn't happen. But it was, when I saw that, I was like, holy, I was so hyped. I was like, this is like the craziest I've ever seen. Yeah. This is like, this is content creation to the next level. This is like, the autism energy is so strong in a good yeah. way. It's, it's, it was just peak. It was just peak. Like that's some, yeah, that's some legendary ad that you did. Yeah, yeah. And again, to an extent, I'm glad, you know, with the way my life has gone and whatever. Because I am at the peak of my editing ability right now. Like I'm, uh, like I'm peaking right now. Like, uh, he's on then, a whole other level. Yeah, no. Back then, I was um, still leveling up and whatever. So if I made the series, and I should have made the series, let's just be clear. Like I'm not coping on this, but if I did make the series, um, it would have been much more scuffed than it would be now. If that makes sense. No, yeah, um, like your skills have improved so much like yeah. when you drop this shit now it's gonna be probably crazier than the, the video you just put out which was insane yeah in I'm, well I, I definitely hope so yeah like bro this is the this is this is the gokunaru funnel man it's like it is again as a viewer it's like two years of nothing and then a straight adrenaline to the vein and so the big goal that i have is to remove that two years of nothing you know what i mean like i want to be present i want to be around this bro in my mind when i escaped that gulag i i'm a youtuber now like this is just what i'm doing like i don't give a f like i'm gonna pop off whatever um and uh yeah i uh i got i have i have a bunch of videos ready thank god like uh a lot of you know filler but like fun videos i guess yeah. also some commentary videos yeah there's uh there's a lot to look forward to bro i'm glad i'm glad like you really are like a you know a viewer bro i uh i i appreciate that you've been following because i do feel bad man because it's like that is pretty fat blue balls that is pretty fat blue balls to like you over people who are excited about that series because i actually got people to be excited about learning basically like right like like imagine Imagine getting a kid excited, or like at the time you said you're a kid, like excited about like a protest. You know what I mean? Like that's just like boring or cringe to most kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was like, uh, I was like 17 or something. I don't entirely remember. Oh, it was yeah, a while then you're ago. fine. But it was yeah, like you a kid. I genuinely, well, I was, I definitely was a kid. I'd say, I'd say I've like not being a kid now. I'm just now not being. I, I'm. I took me a while, but I, I digress. You know. Yeah. The f I think I remember yeah. coming back to your channel that that next week and the video just like wasn't there. I'm like, "God, man, it's f it's not it's I just knew like you cuz I was also doing videos. So I kind of understood it more than just the average dude. But I was yeah. like I was like he something probably happened and then that's when like I'm glad you answered these questions cuz these are genuine questions I've had for so like for a while. Cause I, always... I can tell. I can tell. That's why I'm actually answering them. Because I've usually when people ask this shit, I just brush it off. No, it's like I genuinely thought like your footage or like I thought you when you made that video, when you edited the Hong Kong video and put it put it out. I thought you were still there. I thought this was yeah. being put up live from there. So I thought you got your shit confiscated. I and see. That's yeah. why this shit didn't come out. I remember this was genuinely. You did like a, there was like a, you made a tweet one time and I replied to it. I was the most like reply. You probably can't find it now. I, I've wiped my Twitter like probably twice since then. But I replied yeah. like blink twice if the CCP is holding you hostage or some shit. And like people. Yeah, I remember this. Funny I remember shit. this. Do you actually remember that? 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was definitely more than just you saying that, but I do remember being added with questions like that. I genuinely thought like your footage got all your all the tapes got wiped, stolen, confiscated by the the state police or something. And that's why the series didn't continue. So I this good closure though. Now I know it's still it's still coming out, but it's just you're taking your time, which honestly is good. I think taking time on something like that is going to be it's going to be more worth in the long run in terms of quality. Um, and I think now after your most recent vid, like with the with the growth, this is this is definitely like some prime time, like the next few months where you like hopefully can get it out. I don't know when you're planning on getting it out, but hopefully soon because I'm hyped still. Yeah, yeah. I was hyped yeah. back then. I'm still waiting. I'm like, dude, this is some. This is like, it's just the most unique ever. Not to like. No, I, I, I bro, I, trust me. I know what you're saying, and like, I've felt that for a while. Yeah, I've. It just feels not real. Like, I don't know. It just feels like what. The it's. But, uh, it is actually just. I don't even it's hard to describe it's just it's so it's so it's just crazy this guy yeah. that does the he makes the best expose video I've ever seen at that time the h3 video that was like the best right. one that I liked right. it more than all the content cops it just felt more raw that's kind of what I liked about it yeah yeah you're doing like the no stupid questions and that was that was like chill I'm like this is chill this is just some chill content mm -hmm. right here like I was like he might do another video vigilante and this is kind of like his whole thing then you post that you went like that's just it's actually like I can see why people thought you were insane because you, you low key that is insane because I don't even, like did people die in the Hong Kong protests did the uh, yeah, state police a, kill people well there's a few deaths yeah the thing is, is that they're not like um huh, they're not um uh, what's the word? Uh, they weren't like um, tested exactly. Like they they weren't. Uh, nobody was tr tried or whatever. Um, but the there was a few deaths that like the police obviously claim were accidental, and then protesters obviously claim were intentional. Um, but yeah, that was the big. Okay, so that was a big shadow that was lingering over me throughout that whole period, bro. Because people were spooked, man. Like, like the because and they had a good reason to be, bro. Because obviously the students took over the university. I was staying at the university. We have emails coming in from the president of the university saying, you know, this is illegal. You gotta leave. Like, the, you know, all this like t fear mongering, and then you have so the students start uh, start to think. Oh man, you're bringing me back real hard. The students started to think, um, and there was rumors spreading, and this was probably spread by, you know, the government or the acting government, that the um, Chinese military would uh, clear out the schools. Um, and there was multiple problems, but there's multiple weird things that happened. Holy f I can't believe it. I'm just remembering all this now. But like, um,. So there was the threat of the Chinese military, okay? And for context, my my university was right beside the military base of the like the mainland China. Are you fucking um, for are you for real, bro? Yeah, yeah. Like like it was within walking distance. So that was like a looming weird just I like I I don't know what happens if that if that occurs because that's basically if that happens, that is basically what happened at Tiananmen Square, right? In my head at that time, that's what everyone's saying, right? Everyone's yeah. like talking about Tiananmen Square, and I've I at that time like I had read books about Tiananmen Square when I was in high school and all this. Shit. All I but but really all I understood was like people died. You know what I mean? Like that was the big takeaway I got, and so I was just I was spooked by that. And then there's um, fuck, there was a bunch of fear mongering shit going on, bro. There was the fa okay, man, this was a big thing too. Holy. Shit. I don't even know if I could talk about this one, but like the the Cliff Notes is like one of the universities of the four, they discovered people creating bombs, okay? Bruh. Allegedly. 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 And so um that was whether that was true or not, um 
that was used by you know the police as like a legitimizer a fear tactic to say like we're gonna get the military involved whatever yeah on top of that as time went on there was police helicopters on over like looming over all of the universities right so like all of our movements all this was like obviously being recorded tracked whatever and the the thing that spooked me for sure was um the students started to get as in the protesters the students and the, or the protesters started to get paranoid as fuck in the sense that uh they were thinking that people were like you know double agents that people were like in um you know that they were basically like uh there's an imposter uh, among us yeah yeah literally bro yeah and it's like and you have to keep in mind like I was an outsider, you know? So that's, in a way, being an outsider is good because obviously I'm not working for the police, you know, more or less. But being an outsider is obviously bad because they don't trust me. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty much like, they just don't know what I'm going to do with the footage. Like, if I was recording them, they were freaked, like, weirded out, you know what I mean? Which makes sense, like, complete yeah. sense, bro. Um, because for all they knew, I would just sell the footage to CNN. Um, or worse, like, yeah, to the Chinese media outlets. Um, yeah, there's, bro, there's a lot to be spooked about. Because that's the big thing. In hindsight, I look back and I wasn't in immense danger, okay? But let's be clear, I was in danger. Like, a soccer mom would look at what happened and would be terrified completely. And, like, the girl that I was talking about who actually stuck behind and we ended up recording together she got a um um i believe it was a yeah she got a rubber bullet on her like on her shin she got um, hit by a rubber bullet yeah and i have this on camera this is like the pretty much the climax of the video probably well, don't, of don't the series it yet you gotta save that juice no 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 i yeah of course like don't worry but that's insane man like but, you guys were but, you were there you were that close to the whole yeah and that did damage too like she she it uh fractured her shin bone or whatever oh, what but, the uh, fuck yeah yeah um there's there's people who like lost eyes because of rubber bullets like that was honestly the, like I, the bro for real the the uh the tear gas was was mid compared to the the rubber bullets and uh another big Holy shit, it's bringing back a lot of memories. Another big thing that people were scared about was, holy shit, I can't believe, I can't believe, bro. I, this is going to be a good series. I'm just remembering now. There was, um, sir, w at the pinnacle, the peak of the, the, um, the chaos or whatever you would say, um, was Poly U, okay? Poly University, Polytechnical University. Yeah. Um, that was like the final standoff. This is the moment that is a historical event basically where it's like this is the moment that the protests peaked or whatever um there was tanks basically tanks going around the vicinity of the entire university and they were spraying protesters with blue paint and so people were freaked the f out because if you get sprayed with blue paint like that stains hard and you'll get like identified and they'll know that you were at a protest and all this oh, so shit. It was like you were playing Splatoon or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but dude, um, the fucking CCP was playing Splatoon with the protesters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a uh, yeah, and then oh, and then to counter the tanks, bro, f me. To counter the tanks, um, protesters would carry uh, laser red dot lasers, right? And so yeah. they would just flash. They would just flash the f laser right in the eye of like the, 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 tank the tanks. Right. Yeah. Yeah, very, uh, there's, bro, that's why I was saying it's, like, urban warfare, because it's basically, um, that's what it was. Like, it was literally civilians doing, like, these weird tactics to thwart, like, literal, like, you know, trained policemen or whatever. Um, but yeah. Yeah, in hindsight, I wasn't in immense danger, because there wasn't a massacre. That's well, the big that's thing. But that's fucking good. Yeah, yeah, at the time, the, there was, like, this scary air where it's like people could die like it could be bad and but yeah thankfully i'm alive you know and whatever but uh, yeah i do need to finish that series now it's making me horny just talking about this I, I definitely i'm gonna get on it but yeah. that's how you know um I, i've gotten the same feeling where i know content is good and i need to put it out 
Like that's how yeah. I was with the my biggest video and some of the other ones. I'm, I'm sitting there like this is so good. I got to do it. That's yeah. So this is the thing is like you do develop instincts. Like you've been making videos for at least at least five years, probably like seven, breaching yeah. on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like seven years, bro. After I think like after three maybe four years, you start to develop like real instincts. Um, yeah, I uh, I know what you mean and like. I know that the footage that I have is, um, you know, content and all this. Shit. But the 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 bigger thing is obviously trying to like portray what the was actually happening because this is the problem: is like an event happens, and then people decide what happened. You know what I mean? So like even January sixth or whatever the like people like CNN and a lot of people are still debating what the happened there even though it was like heavily documented whatever and it wasn't in reality probably that's crazy or serious of an event probably i don't exactly know whatever there's a lot of conspiracy um, theories and all that yeah 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 exactly like that's what i'm saying like an event happens and then people decide what happened you know what i mean um yeah. so that's what that's what really with me because coming you know like not ever really being in a protest before this You've just read everything in a history book and you just think like, this is just what happened. You know what I mean? But there's so much subjectivity into just saying what happened. It's f***ed up. It's f***ed up. Yeah. But anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, there's... I know, like, you're right. Like, in 20, 30 years, there's probably... Like, people probably learn about those Hong Kong protests, but they're just going to learn about it, like in like a book in like at a surface yeah. value they're not going to know the layers of everything yeah. going on like what you just described like they <laughs> spraying people with blue paint and they think that's a way that the police are going to track people down because that <laughs> stains like i don't think yeah. they'd fit that in a <laughs> history book that's like that's why documenting things like that in my opinion is very important so you actually like genuinely just did like a service for historians just regular ass people that wanted to know what the f happened like it's just it's it's some crazy shit, bro yeah well the the big asterisk asterisk there is like the series needs to get finished and then i and then i did it you know what i mean and then it's done um but I'm yeah hyped. i hope it i hope it comes out within the next year <laughs> yeah that's definitely definitely possible yeah well, I have good momentum right now, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. You got to take advantage. I understand yeah. that, too. The momentum you get, you got to. Like, I remember when I got. <laughs> I'm going to do a funny reference to the your most recent video. When I got that first recommended from Minecraft, I'm on go mode, bro. Bro, I I'm love that. That's, goal mode. <laughs> I love that people like that quote because um, it's. I don't like Sneeko, but that is kind of funny. Like I'm on fucking hilarious. goal mode, <laughs> bro. It's funny because uh, that was just a complete leftover clip, like a complete um, scrap. <laughs> sc like it was scrap. It was straight up scrap. It was in the scrap heap. And tur Turkey Tom tuned in to one of the Gulag streams and. That like I accidentally let the timeline play till the scrap heap came, and he's and he like, goes, "Dude, you gotta put that in." <laughs> no, immediately he hears that, and then he immediately just types in chat like three times, like, "I'm on <laughs> go mode." And I'm, just like, <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, that is kind of funny," and then I put it in as that meme. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, actually, yeah, it's actually That's, that was so funny. <laughs> that was actually uh, Saplo who did that edit. Like I, I gave him most of the clips of Sneeko, I believe, but Saplo did that edit, and that is a goaded edit. Like we, uh, we use that for the white rabbit um yeah i know yeah i'm on go mode <laughs> bro i love i love it man it's I, I i was thinking of i was working on my new video and like i said kind of, i was i was like i gotta put that in or <laughs> something i gotta put Do that it, reference man. in or something because that would be funny i'm on go mode that's you when you get when you get recommended you're on go mode yeah bro exactly i Trust me, like, if you made that a meme, I would not, like, I would think that's just funny because it's just funny. You know what I mean? It is just, like, that is just genuine. Yeah. Gen that is yeah. just some gold right there. Yeah. Me. One thing, yeah. One thing you got to give to Sneeko is, like, like you said you didn't get the appeal, and I I, I agree with you because, honestly, his 90% streams... of the time, it's, yeah. it's just unwatchable. Dog but shit. moments like yeah. that are funny, though. I can get that. No, no. When, when he was at the peak of his, like, red pill raging... I totally got the appeal because he was like, 
That's why I kept joking about him being on coke and like He's I had tweaking. the yeah, the Sneefco character, because the, there was so many clips that I had of him just tweaking, like, just, like, doing the most <laughs> insane statements. And I was like, I need to use these, but in a way that's, like, clever, not just, like, oh, this is a Sneeko Funny Moments compilation. No, yeah, it's like, dude, there was footage, like, I swear there was a clip of him in your video where he's just, like, he actually looks like he's having a seizure. It's just hilarious. <laughs> it's, like, he's just actually, like... In yeah, the electric yeah. chair or something, getting shocked, bro. Yes, yeah. It was bro, so yeah. fucking funny. Man, I'm so glad that video's out, man. Like, holy I'm glad fuck. it didn't get taken. I was so mad when it got taken down. I was probably I was probably <laughs> as mad as you were. I bro, I could that tell. That's why, I, bro, I, I, that's why, yeah, I f*** with you heavy, bro, because you were, like, in, in, like, mad. You were, like, actually mad. And I was, obviously, I was, like, concerned. I was, like, worried, bro, because I was, like, holy f***, I'm really going to get like this aren't i you know if that didn't come up back up in like a few days i was actually gonna like make a video i'm not even joking i was just gonna everything i was working on back burner i'm like yo this is okay. someone's gotta talk about this i've messaged like all my youtube commentary friends that i have i was like yo this is like the biggest story of the year no one knows about it right now you guys need you gotta talk about this if you need the deets i'll hook you up like that's what i was telling people like and i was gonna just do it yeah. myself because i didn't want to rely on other people because you know they yeah. got their own yeah. going on like they're not gonna some of like I, for, like from their point of view it's like this is but like i'm working on this other thing you know it's it's one of those things but yeah. i was i was gonna i was working on like two things at that time like i was still working on them i was gonna just scrap like for put a back burner yo this guy got up youtube do something you guys are <laughs> youtube's <laughs> up they yeah. they keep but this dude for no reason i mean the first time like the way you described it now it makes a little more sense just the guns in the video you buying a gun yeah i can kind of see that being problematic now back then the, i didn't the, get it i was like the thing speak? The thing is, yeah, no, you're, like, you're right, and I did even get it at the time, but the thing that was weird about that situation was the fact that it was new, new rules, and it was one of the only videos that got removed for these rules, uh, like, there's only three videos that got removed for those rules the day that they dropped, um, it was iDub's Content Cop, a Psychic Pebbles video, and then mine, and I was just like, bro, I'm literally, like, a low-level grunt, like, I... Like, my video on H3 got 1.4 million views, and iDub's Content Cop on Leafy got, like, 27 million. You know what They've I mean? they got like, you, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just surprised. This makes... This, like... This is another question I, I actually had, circling back to the H3 thing. Yeah. Um, this was a joke I think Leafy was running with for a little while. Yeah. He yeah. was showing a picture of H3 with... Susan Wojcicki and saying like he's behind all this shit. it was obviously like a meme but do you genuinely think he had something to do with your video being removed at the end of the day like I have to take him at face value when he says that he didn't right like that was the big thing was like there was a conspiracy because his uh search bar on YouTube it had my name as one of the most recently searched you know things within the week that he met with susan okay so i the, that's the big thing i was on his mind you know within the week that he talked to susan um but the problem was is that he when keemstar confronted him with that you know theory h3 didn't mention my name he completely denied it just said that keemstar was insane whatever he just like completely ignored the question basically um and so finally when he reacted to the video like a year later or so or some like five months later maybe i don't know he uh flat out said that no he didn't uh talk to susan about it um i'm not delusional <laughs> i don't th i don't think i'm not delusional i don't think um i don't think that i could have humanly been on youtube's radar in that way unless another youtuber made youtube aware okay so maybe it wasn't h3 or like ethan klein whatever um i think he was i think he was telling the truth i genuinely think he was telling the truth when he said i did not talk to susan about you or whatever 
Um, and I didn't really ever picture that in my head. But in my head, I did envision a world where he told, like, a YouTube rep or, like, he told someone that wasn't Susan. And when he talked to Susan, he probably... I'm not sure. He... he No, he claims he didn't talk about harassment. Um, but, yeah, obviously, Susan, after she talked to these creators, she talked to Shane Dawson, uh, f uh, James Charles. Holy sh what a roster for her to talk to. <laughs> Dude, all these she, people got f***ed up. She talked to James Charles, um, Shane Dawson, uh, uh, H3H3, um, what's that girl, Lily Singh, right? And so Nightmare these are blunt all, rotation. Yeah, and so the thing is, is that these are all people who probably do get harassed, or that do, and they definitely do receive criticism, you know what I mean? So when Susan finished those conversations, one of her big takeaways, she had like a letter that she released, one of her big takeaways from talking to these creators, which keep in mind, these are the top of the top creators, right? So she's receiving the opinions of the top creators, not like the average creators. Yeah. The, big, the biggest complaint that she apparently received from these top creators was about, you know, harassment on the platform, was about probably most of them were crying about people criticizing them. But yeah, again... You can absolutely look at my H3 video and say that's harassment. You can like l probably legally look at it like that. Like I'm not I'm not delusional. Like again, I've said this before, but the big thing was like I felt guilty about that video on like a moral level for a while because I needed it to feel like a crime because I was not trying to I really wasn't trying to look like the good guy. Believe it or not, that might sound dumb, but like I kind of get I kind of I thematically that. Yeah, like thematically, like like is this the good guy? Like the guy who is like an obsessed stalker and then hunts down and kills H three? Like like you know what I mean? Like I mean, no, you're like, called the video vigilante, so you're not yeah. uh, you're not like when Idubs did it, he was coming from a place of moral authority. He called himself yeah. a cop. You're not calling yourself yeah. a cop. You're calling vigilantes. That's illegal. Like yeah, Batman. Yeah. Like the police like didn't like him. Like you know Batman. Like in some of the story so it's it's like that it's like you're you're doing what's right quote unquote but you're not doing doing it, it for the right reasons re, right reason or the right way like like yeah. if this was like a real thing it would be like it's like gary plock you know gary plock he shot that dude that like molested yeah. his son like that's the yeah. right thing but it's yeah, also yeah. it's murder that's wrong yeah i know i know what you're saying yeah you yeah. know what i mean and it's like the that. nice the nice thing is, right, is that it is just YouTube drama at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So, like, I get to play, like, this character and whatever, but I didn't actually kill anybody, and I didn't have plans to kill anybody. So, it is, like, just, like, it's almost like a WWE event in the sense that it's, like, at the end of the day, this is just for fun. You know what I mean? But I love, I love playing into, like, this, like, kind of vigilante role or whatever, because that, in my mind, that justifies me, like with Sneeko to the point where he like thinks I'm a stalker you know what I mean like um like Sneeko getting spooked like you could have like again it depends on your definition but like you could call the Sneeko video harassment depending on you know how uh tight you would be with it um but I, yeah I would like to think I was more clever I was more clever this time than I was with the H3 thing where that was like pretty just like blunt you're just um, like I'm hunting this dude down with shoot next yeah. to son. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. That's. I mean, it went hard regardless. It went pretty hard. Yeah. I think. I mean, I, that sh was dude, like. I, I'm bro. I'm. That's the best thing that I think I've ever, like, probably done. Just cause, like, bro. Yeah, we already talked about you know all the cool weird experiences that it kind of opened up. Bro, yeah. If if I didn't make that video, just butterfly effect, I probably wouldn't have gone to Hong Kong for some reason. Like just for some reason you know what i mean like i could have just not chosen hong kong like i don't know um yeah i don't regret that shit at all well no definitely no you're totally right it's like i i like i have a similar experience like my first video that actually blew up i just did a video where it was i already did anti pay to win on unturned and i did a video a minecraft video where i did something with like boats and it did the video did good, but it was just like another ran like standard video. A few months later, then it started blowing up, and then I posted a video that I like. I made half of a sequel to that video, 
but I like just kind of put it on the back burner. I finished it, yeah. put it out, it blew up. Now I'm out of unturned. If I didn't do that, if I didn't try to do the Minecraft thing, I would still be probably posting unturned. I probably wouldn't be in this call. I probably wouldn't have met Duper. None of that would have happened. So it's like, it's the same thing. If you didn't make that video, you probably would still have like however many subs you had then, 13,000 or whatever you had. Yes. Yeah, that was exactly correct. Damn. No, nah, I've been, dude, I, I was lurking, bro. I've been shit. Yeah, shit. I know, I know. I, know. No, I remember, good. I was like, you did a Logan Paul, or no, it was a Jake Paul parody, like 13,000 you subs in 12 years never done before. It was like your little brother or something. Oh my God. That's how I yeah. remembered your that's sub deep, count. That's deeper than I even know. That's crazy. I remember, I know, dude. I, know I, was, about. I was a viewer, bro. As soon as you dropped that, I'm like, this guy's peak. Let's binge every vid that I can yeah. watch. I binged yeah. like most of the the new ones that that shit was funny and then i remember when you made that video where your room flooded and i was like this is a callback because i watched those yeah. other things and it, it things were familiar which is it's an it's it's a unique perspective because not everyone watched went back and watched your other stuff so when that's they watched you, that you did they didn't yeah. know that's why i give you the juice you unlock the juice the um there's yeah, there is like weird. There's weird, deep, autistic lore, <laughs> and I I know that you know that, but like, people underestimate how how like autistic it gets. Like there's just there's a lot of like okay, I'll give you guys one autistic reference, okay? Just just for a bonus because I don't think, yeah, this is probably too subtle for anyone to notice, but like, um, again, you're getting FBI mind wiped anyway. Who gives Men a fuck? Black. But yeah, I'll show you though. I'll show you some juice. Just give me one minute. I gotta find it. Um, do you remember though? Do you remember my response to H three H three back in the day, like the first one when I was just like fresh off of it? Yeah, like um, life after death. You call? Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you do remember. Okay, so there was uh, there was a sequence at the end of that where I like quit my job. I don't know if you remember that. Did you actually? Um, by the way. Yeah. 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 Did yeah. you? Are you still quit from your job? Oh well, after that, I I got other jobs and whatever. Like I, uh, um, I ended up basically like the idea was from there just focus on school and YouTube. But then I didn't make enough money from YouTube, so like I had other jobs. I was. You worked uh, at a store, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, like a grocery you, store. You yeah. made a video at your job. That shit. Is I know. Wild. That was also. <laughs> it's funny because that. I felt a lot of adrenaline doing that. And it's funny how like low stakes that was by in comparison to what I've done now, kind of. But back then I was like nervous that I was going to get fired. You know what I mean? Um, I would be more nervous that that doxes you because people could yeah. locate geolocate your house. Like I work at yeah. a grocery store now, but I don't, I don't ever yeah. really like, I don't say the store or show anything. Cause like that. Yeah. People, pe there's a lot of people that would want to me up so like you know yeah yeah no i understand but there's you wild for that you crazy for that oh yeah i have ops a... all over bro i i should have more ops like it's gonna at some point in my life it's gonna be a meme that like you know the ccp want me the cia want me and that's why i have to assert that like i'll never kill myself you know what i mean like that's why i have to like For real. i really have to dig that in like i look like a depressed loser i make suicide jokes i will never kill myself you know what i mean um well, don't. no no i would not like it's not even a matter of a choice like i just would not and so it's like you know if i am found with a uh what is it what's the meme oh yeah if i'm found with a bullet hole in the back of my head yes it wasn't me Dude, um, one day Gokunaru is gonna be on the news. YouTuber, two bullet holes in the back of his head, ruled suicide. I would, <laughs> I, yeah, I would. I would much rather be alive for a good amount of time Same. going forward. But I don't want to jinx anything. I, two Matt already wood. spooked me. Two Matt already spooked me. Yeah, that's another thing I wanted to ask actually. But continue. oh, that was another weird moment that I got caught in. I got I got cited in Two Mad's court case, dude. I've uh, yeah, dude. There's like a guy. At the did you actually get cited like in court? Yeah, they brought it your says, ass up. The literal court document says on the Gokunaru live stream. Like it literally says. It, I don't know why they didn't cite Tom. Tom's 
stream. It says the go like Gokunaru live stream. That is, I didn't know that, but I knew yeah. you interviewed. You made a six. I I didn't actually fully watch it, but it's spooky to watch six, now, man. Six hour doc. Four, on four, four. Every four. thing. It was. Yeah. How was? How does it feel to be the last person to interview Too Mad? Like that guy. Yeah, I was in that guy's brain for like a month editing that video, and now it's it's pretty much meaningless because it's not gonna really like I, I just I can't really upload that video to main. Like I uploaded it to clips, but I wanted to upload a better version to main. I can't really do that right now just because it's f up. But um, the th that guy's mind was destroyed. Like I don't know. I don't even wanna. Like it's just like I spent too much time in that guy's mind. Like uh like I spent too much time thinking about what he was doing with that girl. Like it was just like every single part of that entire case was just sad and like f tragic. And I, bro, like this is the f up part too. Is like I kind of knew where it was going. Like I wasn't surprised when I, f I found out he died. It was just like pure disappointment. Like pure, just like f what the f man. <laughs> Yeah, that, was that guy crazy. was. No, me and that my was... friend Doug, we liked, like, we were fans of him back. I have his. I, uh, I have yeah, mad, so, yeah. I have the two mad N word pass. Like, <laughs> oh, I was shit. a real troop. Dude, I wonder how much yeah. I go on eBay, but I digress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's. No, like, when I saw you interviewed him again, I was like, yeah. that's another mind. I'm like, what the? F now he's interviewing two mad? This guy can just. This guy just does anything. And it's always, know, like, man. it's always 10 out of 10, but. I remember but, being surprised, but you're in that situation where you were there, like, at the end. Bro, I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with the knowledge, because I have a lot of knowledge about Too Mad now, and I just don't, I don't know what to do with it, really. It's, uh, I mean, it's probably useless, and it probably was, like, a waste of, I guess, my time or whatever, but, man, that was a tragic scenario. Like, it's Drugs. one of those scenarios... Yeah, drugs, mental illness. It's like it's like classic mental illness drugs moment where it's just like nobody wins. Everyone's a loser. No, yeah, it's like drugs destroyed that man. I don't know if your mic cut out again. Oh wait, no, you're good. No, you're good. You're good. Sometimes it just um, cuts like abruptly and it's like did it just disconnect or is he like got noise canceling? Oh, uh it's cause it's just cause I'm on push to talk, I think. Oh Yeah. You've been pushing to talk this whole time. Yeah, bro. I, I like giving my finger a workout. Holy. <laughs> Sorry, I just checked. The Gokunar confronts Sneeko live video got 75k views. I didn't realize it was popping off. What the? F isn't that Whoa. on? Uh, isn't that on, on Sap Lowe's channel? Yeah, yeah, Sap Lowe's channel. Yeah. Last time I checked it, it had like 13,000. That's fucking bro, big. Thank you, thank you to everybody who watched that. Obviously, Z Man included. Uh, we got that vi like Sap Lowe operates that channel. It was because of that video it got monetized like like instantly like it was just like like 4k w watch hours just like blown out of the water from nothing basically from like zero watch hours to like 4k well yeah it's um, an hour long video if 4,000 people watch it all the way through there you go yeah yeah exactly that's peak shout out saplo yeah shout yeah. out saplo and shout out gokumerch.com yeah um oh facts 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 thank you yeah um, I was gonna tell you the one piece of lore, and then we should probably wrap it up just for the sake of like your podcast. No, it's chill. I could I could go for another like eight hours. I don't care. <laughs> okay, respect. Then I'll say like probably I'll chill for like ten more minutes or so, and then I want to uh, I do want to talk to my chat a bit with like donos and whatever. Um, but yeah, you gotta go to gocommerce.com or else I'll kill you. Go to gocommerce.com. And sign up for the email list. Sell your mom's house without her knowledge. Take all the yeah. money. Buy all the shirts right now. If you don't do it, sign up to the email list. We're going to IP log you. We're selling oh, your IP we're gonna to IP the log CCP. The fuck out of you, boy. The CCP is getting all your IPs. You're getting tracked by the co Chinese Communist Party. Get <laughs> 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 oh, man. I love I love your energy, bro. You're funny. Oh, God. That's awesome, man. Oh, Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you the weird autistic detail. This is what I'm saying when it's like, there's just deep ass lore to the point where no one would notice. Like it's not even useful. But I just 
love it, dude. I love planting seeds that like maybe someone will figure it out, maybe not. And I'll give you one today just okay. for free. For, for free. Bezo box. Free. Yeah. I mean, your minds are all getting wiped, but like for Z Man, he gets to remember this one. I'm not um, getting men in black. Yeah, here. I'll show you. Okay, so <laughs> watch the stream for a sec. I'll, I'm watching I'll play, the stream. Uh, okay, I got you. Here, what up? So, this is uh, the Life After Death video that came out after the H3 video. Currently, my most viewed video, by the way. Although, technically, the H3 video is it obviously got removed with 1.4. But one million views, two point four, because it got reposted to Keenstar yeah, and got true. a mill. That's facts. Actually. And whatever and like, views it has on other websites, it's been posted to. Yeah, it has uh, cumulatively like at least six hundred k elsewhere. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it has a lot of so views. So like three mil. Yeah, that's that's hype. Actually, when you put it like that, we gotta get back to that. But anyway, um, yeah. So here, watch this sequence. I'm watching. So, okay, so you see that sequence, Turkey Tom, f him. Um, <laughs> yeah, after watching that sequence, okay, let me know if you recognize anything from this right here. Let me, let me see. I gotta, I gotta remember my Goku lore, Goku Naru lore. Oh, f you're right. The f briefcase, it's a, it's all connected, interlinked. <laughs> interlinked bro yeah hell yeah it's, interlinked uh, yeah man yeah. that's a genius callback i honestly didn't yeah. notice that but i put i i see it now now i understand like yeah i was being i was being dumb i was being a dumbass i'm like i'm looking at the obvious canadian money i'm like yo is that yeah, yen yeah. are you referencing yeah. hong kong <laughs> <laughs> goofy yeah, I'm no. all man you're good I'm you're good as fuck for that. bro no, you're but good yeah. like it's no stress, but yeah, this is like a detail nobody probably would have picked up on, but I'll just to show, just to prove, like, I am on some autistic shit, like, just, just watch this sequence with, like, the context of that briefcase being a, you know, recurring element. That better recur again. Oh, I could tell because there's editing on the screen. <laughs> It's too smooth. <laughs> yeah. I can see the matrix. Yeah, I mean, the audio is obviously scuffed on this version. I'm going to fix it up and all this shit for main channel video, but yeah. Yeah. The lore connection yeah. with the briefcase is just yeah. peak. This is some... God bless. Yeah, and then, so, from there, the video is released, bro. This is Sneeko... This is his first awareness. This is the first first viewer, for sake. How the did you think of this, bro? I'm telling you, man, it's some kind of autism. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what better word... Because people would say, like... I don't know what it is, man. Like, I know I kind of get it. might like like Jareg might say it's schizophrenia, but I think it's just like I'm just a daydreamer. This is the biggest thing like in my life that's kind of f me in ways sometimes. Like, it's in ways I've I've been f because of this, but like I'm a total daydreamer, so I'm just always thinking about like ideas and f like that. So that's I, kind of I the, relate the to that when I'm at work. Yeah. I just think about. YouTube video ideas. Yeah. And like edits yeah. and dude, I dreamt my biggest video. That was just a dream. I'm, bro, yeah. You got you I'm got vision. Schizo, That's what bro. that means, bro. You got vision. And bro, you're you're are you you're like twenty, right? You're freshly twenty, give or take? I'm turned twenty one March tenth. Oh hell yeah, dude. Ex so okay, excellent. So basically I was the same age as you pretty much when the H three video dropped or was like gaining popularity. So, and you've obviously popped the f off. Like, you have more subs than I did at that time. So, like, you have a f ton of room to run, bro. You got much f potential. Not to, like, give you, like, uh, uh, nerves or whatever, but it's just, like, there's, like, this, the big thing that I see, especially when I'm watching your sh and I see the money, like, the music video, sorry, sorry, 
the Pink Floyd song. Yeah. Instantly, I'm just, I'm just like, this is a, f this is a YouTuber. You know what I mean? This is an actual YouTuber, like, in the sense of this is a guy who, he's got like, uh, he's a jester. You know what I mean? Like he's, he knows how to entertain. You know what I mean? Um, because that is, there is like a difference, bro. There's a massive difference between people who pop off and are just good at gaming the algorithm and people who are actually entertainers. You know what I mean? Oh, I f uh, know that so well. Like, there's this guy yeah. that hates my ass. And I'm like, I'm set to pass him pretty soon. It was, it's a guy from Unturned. He tried to switch to Minecraft, bro. Like, not the same way, like with pay to win. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he yeah. tried doing the hardcore thing when it was popping. His flop because he's like just not entertaining people watch him for the game and he's good with like algorithm with that but so it's i i get it bro like there is a difference some people just are in this for money and like they just know the algorithm but then there's like still some people out there like that are broadcast yourself like that old school. yeah because that's what youtube was and then it kind of evolved into gamey ass strats lame content filler uh what else it's i like to put it uh this is a reference to the monkey video but it went from broadcast yourself to broadcast your best self you know what i mean no yeah for for sure it's like that's some other shit we gotta talk hopefully we can i don't know if you're down to keep going i know you want to address the chat for like 10 minutes yeah, we, we could, could go for do, ten minutes. We could go. You could. We could take a break. You could do that, and then we could continue. Because this is some peak. This is peak. This is peak. This is peak. <laughs> this is peak. This is gonna be the best episode on the on my thing. For Bro, sure. if okay, if it's gonna be the best episode on your thing, wouldn't you want to bait a uh, sequel or no? I mean, yeah, but. Bro, I'm. I'm. I'm a, I've got You're stemmed fucking, out. I've I've got town syndrome, bro. Like I, <laughs> like I got. I did this episode with this. Uh, I'm just gonna say his name. No one will know who he is unless you play Unturned and you're like in that community. I did a video with Wesley G. He does these events and he's a cool dude. I recorded my episode with him like a month ago and I still haven't even got to it. And I did some other new one with like I'm just impulsive with the content. It's almost a problem. I get impulsive. Yeah. I'll be like, I'm gonna do this and then I do it. But then sometimes I'll be like, I'm gonna do this and then I just like something else comes up and then it's just like it, it's so hard to commit okay so okay. i don't want to so we could do one but i said i'd do a sequel with like everybody i've done one with and i haven't done a sequel with any of them so okay but maybe i will i will since you said that i'm gonna hold you to it we will do one eventually i'll save some of my sounds good i'll save some of my goat questions for next we time. got we got juice we got juice in the chamber bro yeah i feel like um like, like you want to leave them with something like, you know, to, to desire, you know what I mean? For sure, bro. We can't just blow the whole load. We gotta, we gotta say, yeah, that that's yeah. the, that's literally the magic of edging. You know we what I mean? Like even, it to the max, even, bro. even at the end of the Sneeko video, it's like, buddy, I'm just getting started. You know what I mean? You You're gotta edging you got, the audience, bro. Yeah. You gotta edge the audience. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a. It's such a brain rot thing to f say. I know. It makes, it's a complete it joke. Makes, it makes sense. Though, no. Which is funny. No. The worst thing you can give people is what they want, man. You know? Yeah, bro, because then it's like... Yeah, it's like... You work... You're you're building up, and then it just ends. It's like, what? There's yeah. No, there's no more... There's no more? That's it? That was... It's almost yeah. disappointing. I, I get that in many this ways. This is... The magic of edging. This is um. This is a deep like uh. This is a very fundamental like psychology you know psychoanalysis you know a conclusion that like pretty much most people accept as being obviously the case is like yeah um we like desiring things we don't like achieving things you know what I mean yeah um we like we like. We like chasing toward a vision, like blind dogs. A goal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, no. But yeah, I can still chill. Like, okay, let's give it ten minutes. You know what I mean? Like one for me, one a.m. For you, I'm not sure. Probably one a.m. Right? It's uh, almost eleven. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I'm in. Um, I'm in that 
I'm in MST. I'm in a weird ass time zone. We don't do daylight savings. It's Whoa. Wait, what are you? Are you? You're American, right? What state? Arizona. Okay, interesting. We're the, we're the only state. I think. I think it's us in Sonora and Mexico that don't do daylight savings. Yeah. Fuck so it. it's it's, it's waste it's, of time. It's PST majority of the year, but then when everyone moves their clocks back an hour, we don't because yeah, we live in hell. Over here, it's just <laughs> hot and it's hell. And the summers, it's like Minecraft 40, time, forty-five degrees Celsius during the summertime. So it's fucking. Yeah. We don't want to save daylight. We want the sun to go down as soon as possible. We're not doing daylight savings. Yeah, <laughs> man. I mean, that does like you're talking. Like, do you ever get like school days postponed because it's too hot? No. Okay. Never. All right. Then, you, then you're chilling. Oh, you're saying like even if it's like 50 degrees, they're just gonna send you. For, yeah, it doesn't Fuck. matter, and it's it it gets hotter because it's I am I'm in Phoenix, so it's this huge city. It's just concrete everywhere, and it just yeah. the ground heats up so much. It gets hotter than the air. Then it heats up the air, and it just becomes it's just hell. Feedback loop, yeah. The it's uh, just a feedback even in loop. even in Canada, we have like snow days if the snow is too, f or if there's ice on the ground. What's f is that? It'll snow here sometimes. Very that's that rarely. Like, yeah, yeah. That's that like uh, schizophrenic uh, Mother Nature moment. It's fucked, bro. Like there was snow last year. It f there was so much rain and all that. There was snow on the mountains down here. I'm like, what the. F is wrong with where I live, bro. Like, it can't... It's bipolar as f Like, it just went from hell to, like, Pacific Coast weather. It's yeah. just up. I know that there's one way to protect yourself from the blistering heat, um, and it's to go to gokomerch.com yeah, and sign up yeah. for the e email list. Listen, do you guys do you guys want to become immune to heat stroke? Do you want to go on a, a ten day hike in Death Valley with no water? Well, buy Goku merch. Yeah. Go to GokuMerch.com. Buy all Fuck the merch. Man. Listen, if you die in the desert, at least you got some drip on. And oh yeah, it'll it'll go crazy. And also, if you if it if it gets dire you're out there a month with no food just eat the merch it's got good protein facts shout out go buy the merch it's organic bro it's organic it's cotton it's organic bro dude come on guys you dude we all ate cotton balls in school just buy the merch i eat them now absolutely bro i drink glue we have a a new shirt being released tomorrow so you got to check it out okay this Sign up to the email list. We're giving your email to the FBI. We're sorry, no, we're not. We're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Your email is safe. Uh, okay, fine, we are. Listen, bro, yeah. we're going to get your email. We're going to get your full name, and we're going to Photoshop your name. We're going to troll you. We're going to put your name on the flight log. We're going to You're going to be the next Red Room participant. That'd be a crazy bro. Like Mr. Beast is trying to become Willy Wonka. I'm gonna do like I'm gonna become Willy Wonka, but it's actually just the guy from Saw. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, you're gonna become. I was about to say that you're gonna be. Yeah. He's trying to be Willy Wonka. You're trying to be Saw. Yeah, yeah. I think that's funny. I just like that. I the like the mask that you have in the videos. Is still it look kind of looks like Saw a little bit. Which one? That like it's the banner for your second channel. Colossal is crazy. Yes. Monster and yeah. mon monkey Jones. Sorry. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. My bad. You're right. Yeah. That's that, like that your is, version of it. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to lean into that as like, ooh, the spooky character. Yeah. That's like how my thing is like the pirate flag, but it's a troll face. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a rebrand, but it's, yeah. no, it's I, like I, something, I, but it's, it's something, I, but it's yours. No, I with, I like imagery. You know what I mean? Like, uh, power imagery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God damn. That was a great conversation, bro. I'm I'm down to if there's any other things you wanted to ask or any like whatever you're if you want to talk about what you're up to because I am curious like I'm I'm paying attention quite closely now. 
so I got an I've I've got a crossroads here. I can ha I can have him talk about me, or I could ask another question. Hmm. Or I could ask a question. Yeah, either you can ask me something, or I could ask you something. Like, like okay, so you're a troll, and so and like I, I just want to just quickly, what do you have anything that comes immediately to mind as like an idea to f with like you know potentially a future. F target or whatever like a way you know to um to troll somebody who's like on a live stream or whatever like okay so now no no i should actually add, let me get more specific okay. i'm going i'm going on to destiny's kick or keep oh. um and in, in two days i think or three days some monday and so i want to i want to win first of all because i want money but i also yeah. want clout and I want to steal money and clout from Destiny. Mwah, can't think of anything better. <laughs> and so I need uh, just any kind of idea that you would have that's like going to, you know, make the chat excited, going to with Destiny. That would be great. Or with the other contestants. Like if there's mm. any, I, and you don't need to come up with this right now, but if you have anything on the fly, I'll definitely take I it. I got something. Okay. So have the camera cut. Say like you're going pee or something. Turn Ooh. the you come back. It's not you. It's your brother, and he's speaking pig Latin. <laughs> and then it's not bad. And then, like after some confusion, like have like somehow I can't really think of a good way to do this, but have him like elegantly exit, and then you're back, and you just say like maybe you have it like you can edit it or in like where it's a yeah, recording, yeah. and then it glitches back yeah. where you're like. Yo, what, what's, what's wrong? And then it's just, you just play Dom like, what are you talking about? I've been here this whole time. And you just like, oh, I, gaslight I like him. that. I like that idea. I think yeah, that's have hilarious. Have him speak pig Latin where he's like, itch nay, bitch nay, or something like that. Some goofy shit he just says. Mm -hmm. Where only people that know what pig Latin is would understand. Bro, this so is, have him this like is have a I... cryptic message. Maybe you plug the merch, but you say it in pig Latin. People won't understand. I like that. But I like then that. They'll decipher it and it's just an ad. Yeah, that would be great. I uh see this is good. I'm glad to have you have you as a contact because like you're the perfect person to conspire with to f with these like randoms, bro. Because I'm telling you, man, there's too many boring live streamers, bro. I'm telling you. Like I'm shocked. It's I'm just shocked. slop. It's slop. Bro, I'm shocked that nobody's tried to f with destiny's kick or keep yet like you know what i mean like i'm trying i'm shocked that like i just i haven't seen anybody pull a stunt you know um so we'll see we'll see what i can juice up that would be no yeah bro if you need trolling advice hit me up i got me i know some other people that were pro trolling back in the day so like hell yeah i can just siphon ideas like trolling hell is, yeah trolling is just peak i just like it it's an I art form, have. bro. It really is, dude. And, like, trolls get a bad rap, but, like, if you're a benevolent yeah. troll that does it for a reason, yeah, then it's peak. But the curse is that your detractors will always try to claim that you're just a troll. Yeah. They're not yeah, going to yeah. try and see the deeper meaning. Like, dude, mm -hmm. my big, all of my videos really, like, I've been doing trolling forever. It has, the only thing that's changed is the style. It, it, it's the same thing. I still troll. The f my biggest video, I am, I'm, tr I'm trolling. We go in the chat and, like, I think there was a bit I did. No, that was, I'm thinking of a different video, but it was, like, the same thing. But no, we mm -hmm. were, my friend joined as Oxycodine. His username nice. was Oxy. That's just a drug. He got banned for his name. Nice. <laughs> Who else? That's never happened in another video. I've never seen that happen where someone gets banned for their username <laughs> on Minecraft. And its username is Oxy Cody. And his skin was like yeet. Like the rapper. Like just yeet. Right. That's what just. That's just funny. Weird. It's. <laughs> Oxycodone, no, because Duper Trooper, so there's this thing called OG names, original usernames. So, like, when you can, when Minecraft became a thing, right? Or yeah. just, this is anything. This isn't just Minecraft. This is any platform where you have a username. There's going to be someone that got a word, just a j common word first, like the or because or a word, like something or like a drug, meth. 
cocaine. There's probably you could probably look it up. There's probably a Minecraft account called Cocaine, and it probably would go for like two grand. And my friend Duper, he like trades these things. Like he gave me one called Sucky. I have a Minecraft yeah. account called Sucky. And then my most recent acquisition from Duper, because he gives me discounts because we're bros, he gave me Goon Max yeah. Riz God. I have the username Goon Max, just the most brain rot. Shit. Like, holy f Goon Max Riz God. He had oxycodone. It's just like a, it's a great, it could be a great.